Anyway, we're going to go ahead and get started. This is Team Envy versus Fusion University, like I said. Chad, I have disabled notifications um, on the uh, subscriptions, bits, and follows just so we're not interrupted. And I will be sure to thank you those when I get a chance. So anyway, we're going to hop in. Can you see my screen, Mr. John Gall? It's kind of glitchy right now, but it should smooth itself out. Can you see that? Uh, NV versus Fusion? Yes, yeah. sir. Control Center. I'm going to turn up the volume a little bit. Okay, so chat, it will clear up momentarily, um, but this is what we're going with. Ryan Goats versus Ryan Goats, except both teams have a May. Now, obviously, this is a pretty popular May map in terms of like the map geometry, but do you have any commentary on like May Goats versus Ryan Goats? Like, what, how does that work exactly? Uh, well, May Goats uh, is often seen as, well, the really concept of May Goats being better than Ryan Goats, it's not better, but in some terrain, the in some terrains may goat can chase you a couple of wins mm -hmm. so for example in this ter in, in this in this area if you know that contenders team have like a tendency to move by a white room which is this area over here mm -hmm. so if, if you know these like overwatch league teams they don't like to uh, move by this area they like to go in by main mm -hmm. but contenders team they like to brought in a white room i wouldn't say it's an absolute but if you know the, your your opponent tend mm -hmm. to like to brawl in this area mm -hmm. may could be like a good character to play that's one of the simpler way of like explaining it right if right, you know right. they're going to move by a certain path they are a predictable team mm -hmm. that's when may really gets uh potent because uh you are unpredictable because they don't know you have a may they mm -hmm. think you have goats so they'll play for space they'll play aggressively they'll play uh they'll push out and that gives you an opportunity to, to wall someone off and itself it's a win condition mm -hmm. now how does this work in the may goats mirror is it just yeah so the main goat's mirror is how does that going work? to be like yeah so a main mirror is going to be like super complicated uh it's honestly it's honestly not a on to me if you know that the other team is playing main goats and i think nv should have guessed that fusion uni was playing main goats because they have shown history of playing uh main goats before so nv should be prepared because this is one of the best uh main goats man mm -hmm. so what i'm surprised is nv decided to go main goats to challenge fusion uni uh, may goats because i'm of the opinion i'm not sure whether other people share my opinion but i think goats like traditional goats stand a very good chance in beating may goats as long as you know the other team is playing may goats of course if you yes. don't know that that's another matter but if you know they're playing may goats mm -hmm. i think traditional goat is totally fine in fact it probably it probably gives you the favorable matchup just because mm -hmm. uh traditional goats is you know so strong right uh the only re i i I, I don't know why they're playing uh, May Goats. It could be that they think that then maybe they're not confident in beating May Goats with traditional Goats for mm -hmm. whatever reason. Maybe they don't scream against it uh, because one of the <clears throat> one of the weaknesses of traditional Goats against May Goats, uh, aside from like the things we talked about, mm -hmm. is that you never scream against May Goats. Like you rarely scream against May Goats in at least in Overwatch League. So in Contenders, it could be, it, it probably is likewise. A lot of people play GOATS, a lot of people play Triple DPS, but if you never scream against a composition, how are you going to know exactly how to right, play right. It in that matchup, right? So maybe they go May GOATS to make sure that it's at least on an even ground rather than practicing something they've never seen, they've never, you know, practiced that matchup on stream. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And May GOATS is like, Ryan GOATS into May GOATS is fine if, as long as you win first fight, but if you lose first fight, that's when it yeah, starts yeah. to just get yeah. more difficult and more difficult. Trying to get through this choke in particular is just brutal. And having a may of your own maybe is their choice of, okay, we're not confident, but at least it won't be awful if we're running a may of our own. Um, yeah. Okay. Do you want to press play? I want to make sure that works on your end. Can you? Can you? Yeah, it's sweet. Normal. Awesome. So obviously, feel free to pause whenever you'd like. And hey, stream quality. Sure. There we go. We're good. Yeah, so now we can see like the approach path from uh, NV and Fusion Uni. So mm -hmm. Uni is going by uh, by White Room. They have done this many, many times. I think in previous matches, they have done this as well. They they just want to get like one of those balls here. And it's like it's like a cheap rank tactic, right? You, you guys have seen it before. You guys you guys who play rank, you guys know that if you guys play in White Room, you see a May coming towards you, the May will be trying to ward off trying to make sure that there's some there's always someone that they can kill through uh you know that, that they, they can isolate and kill in this case nv you could see nv is the team that uh they're i don't know how to say this they're the team they're not looking for a fight they're not they're not looking to play a, a war fight with me they just want to play on point they just mm -hmm. want to make sure that fusion Uni has to go to them they want to make sure things are as slow paced as possible so it should be fusion university that is the aggressor here 
it, it, at least it feels like uh, to me that Fisher University will, will want to be the aggressor here just because they are the one that plays Maygoats, they are the one that's comfortable with the comm. I doubt that Envy is as comfortable with the comm. I think they're just playing Maygoats because they're not you know, not confident of their ability to play traditional goats into May goats. Mm. So my guess is Fishing University is gonna, you know, push out aggressively against Envy. And Envy's just gonna to try to use their war as a defensive countermeasure right. rather than Envy pushing into So into... one of one of my concerns here is that mm -hmm. a lot of times the strategy I see for when you play open or play main is you hide your Ryan kinda of where stand is here. And you hide your Ryan there so that he can still access, still get swings. Um We've seen Diva boot plays, or the, the the enemy, the white Rhine will push forward, and then the Diva will come from the side and boop him in. Anyway, so they, they hide him here rather than here. But I feel that that might be extra risky when you're running into a May, because with a May, uh, if you don't have a wall of your own to defend, which depends on what they choose to do with their wall, Stan could get isolated here very easily, as opposed to if he was playing here. So we'll see how they utilize their May wall, because I feel like that would be a risk of where he's playing in particular. Any thoughts on that in particular? Uh, yeah, I'm not sure. If, if Stan one's gonna be standing there like uh, permanently, then it can be bad. But mm -hmm. he could just be standing there just to you know exude like a threatening presence. Most of the time, mm -hmm. like Raihai could stand in an area to 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 pressure that area, but he, they're not gonna like stand there permanently. Mm -hmm. so I, I'm not sure what Stan is gonna do. I actually haven't watched this vault. So. Okay, I haven't either. Yeah. So this this will be first for both of, both of us. Okay, let's uh let's uh press cool. the point. Claim the low ground here. It's gonna be Team Envy who are on the point, of course, in the green. They try and block a lot of people off. So they just match. They match, and, and I'm trying to see where Ellie vote is. Um, Envy because they the clearly point. counter wall to kind of gimp. So yeah, Ellie Ellie is here. Um, Ellie is right here, and so Ellie kind of in a way goes, okay, you're gonna go for your play. We're gonna almost maybe use our Ryan as bait. Um, and then now we're going to wall you off. And it, it does really feel like, like you were saying, Envy just doesn't want to make a play. Envy wants mm -hmm. to just play very passively and like just make sure that Fusion can't make a play. Yeah. Interesting. Uh, but yeah, the, the how Envy position right here is, yeah, it's, it's, a, it's a good position if you want to play defensively because uh, it's going to be very hard for Fusion University to actually push into Envy, even though that's Fusion University wall. We can see the wall on the left, this mm -hmm. gigantic mm -hmm. monument. Mm -hmm. But like because of the terrain they are, they're already fighting on point it's very hard to get like an ideal war it's very hard for nice to get an ideal war so i mean we could say that right now the terrain is slightly better for fusion because fusion is pushing down their enemy Reinhardt doesn't have any cover, so Stan doesn't have any cover to stand behind. Reinhardt likes having cover. They like to uh, move behind cover, push out against the Rhine, move mm -hmm. back behind cover. They like to have something that they can hug. Mm -hmm. But there's not there's no cover here, so it's gonna be hard for the Rhine. The but it's technically if this is if this specific configuration happened, so there's a May War on the left. Mm -hmm. And Fusion University is traditional goats. So I, I know it's impossible. It's a, a hypothetical situation. So if Ice was like a diva, but there's yeah. like a main one, it's like a terrain on the left, yeah. then this would be Fusion University victory. Because right, right. now, right this very moment, they should speed boost and they should rush NV. You can see that NV position is very awkward. So mm -hmm. this position right here is good for Fusion University to rush. But right now, even though Fusion University wants to rush a bad position by NV, they cannot. Because they don't have a diva, right? They don't so have a diva. What a di yeah. So what a diva does is when Chansik goes in to swing, when Chansik is going to swing in, because Chansik will see this as a fortunate, he wants to go in and swing. It's very very hard for him to uh, do more than one swing. He can't do like two three swings even with a uh, Zaya bubble because uh, he's just going to take a fuckload of damage. Like defensive matrix makes it so that when you skirmish, you're taking like a brunt of like the massive burst damage and then your rank can get in like two or three swings. That additional one, two swings is important in applying pressure. Chansing is not going to have the ability to do that. So Fujian University is really just going to be winning through either ultimate uh, they're not going to be winning through like a push. They're going to be either winning through their ultimate or someone somehow making like a pick. Mm -hmm. So that's the only way they, they, they are going to win. Either through their ultimates or someone making a pick through either May walling off someone, which this wall is not good enough. May walling off like literally one single person away, like a, an excellent wall, like an A wall. This is not mm -hmm. good enough. Mm -hmm. Or like Zen getting like five balls on someone. There's no right. other way for people to win. They right. cannot push. Right, yeah. right. That's what I'm trying to say. Kind of like a stalemate on both sides. Just yeah. Okay. We will try and block a lot of people. So Chansik goes in, can't swing more than once. So makes a pick. Right. We will. We will go back. And so fire is where. 
fire. I can't tell if he's playing center pillar. Regardless, he gets shield bashed. You can hear that. That's strange. I'm trying to find where he is. Okay, so he is right here on our screen. That's a terrible color. <laughs> he is right here. Um, yeah. And he gets shield bashed. Okay, so he's behind our May. He's behind our May. So he's like, I believe fire rides around this direction. Again, why is it switching? Mm -hmm. And he gets shield bashed like right here. And then, like you said, just either five ball or two ball. Like he gets, he gets doinked. So, okay. You can see that shield cracking under the pressure, but alarm. Of course, it's alarm. Starts us off with a kill onto fire. Yeah. I think fire's overextending a little. Yeah. Like, it's, it's, yeah. Well, uh oh. Oh, this is a good wall. Yeah. Okay. At this point, Fusion University, the war of attrition is definitely in their favor. They should be able to push them off. But there we go, and they claim the point. That's just what. And I'm this is this is the problem here. So like, not going to be able to get staggers. Right I'm afraid you're going to get frozen up. Ex and do you want do you want to talk about how you can retake as Maygoats into Maygoats? How that works exactly? Uh, well, you can, but yeah, at this point, yeah, they pretty much lost. But yeah, we we can talk about how they can retake. Yeah, so briefly. yeah, they could they sh they probably should. The the most generic way is like you go by the other way. Like that's an entrance on the right. There's a call out, but mm. yeah, there's an entrance on. There's two entrance into a point, right? There's yep. one entrance here, and then yep. there's another entrance on the right. So you can go by the right side. You could use your wall to block off. Uh, is there like a better POV where we can? Um, see let's like, see. Oh, there, that's yeah, something uh, that's, like that. That's good. Yeah, that's good. You rotate this way. And then the enemy team wants to wall you off, right? But it's quite hard to, because as you move, before you actually commit into this path right here, the dotted line path right mm -hmm. here, uh, you just wall off this area. And it walls off the line of sight of the enemy mate. And you can you can wall it off before you even move through the path. So right. you wall it off, the, may, the enemy may can't see anything, so she can't wall, and then you move through. And the speed goes to here. white, right? Yeah. Okay. You don't. You don't really. Need, you don't even need to speed boost. Just move through. You can save your speed there. boost. Okay. Okay. Yeah. So, cool. Awesome. To block off line of sight from Nice to make sure that he cannot use. So it looks like yeah, Nice is trying to get in that position okay, first, and there's the wall. See that giant green wall blocking off a, a lot of. So they were clearly prepared for that. Like you can kind of see it here, right here, where Nice to is. Line of sight from nice to make sure so he's already he's already trying to get there first. Um, mm. interesting. Yeah, it's pretty risky for Nice though, because he can get ward off as well. Mm -hmm. so. Big rotation from Team Envy. See that giant green wall blocking off a lot of members. However, Fusion University just. No, that was a set play by Fusion Uni, actually. It wasn't like a small set play. What they do is uh uh, what they do is they they break the middle pillar of the main wall. Mm -hmm. So when the main wall goes down, it's kind of like a advanced play. It's an easy play to do, but it's like advanced small set play. Yep. Uh, the moment the main walls goes out, they call like. Tapila, and then it does burst the tapila. You can see how fast the the pillar yep. breaks. And they're already through. Yeah. Yeah, they're already through. Okay. And then the shield bash. The shield bash on May. Shield bash on Ryan. Difference is the shield bash on May. Sh May can ice block. Ryan can't. <laughs> uh, yeah. And so. University just gonna run straight through it. Easy couple of kills for Fusion Uni. These Honestly, Envy could have. Yeah, that, that was like Envy chance to win it because uh, Virginia University won it without outs. But yeah, Chancey was just was just too too wary, I guess. Because Chancey should have just continued rotating. Now it's pretty much like 99% chance that Fusion is going to win the entire map. Like 99. Now, now they're playing on point. Okay, so they're giving choke. Now I have coached teams in the past, and we've talked about giving chokes when you're at a support old disadvantage, when you know that they're going to aggressively push through rally at the choke, and then you don't have a rally to match, or and then so you'll play point to either like build up that ultimate or to just give waste more time in the enemy team pushing through um but i'm not seeing really a disadvantage in ults really much at all um what why, why, why what's your guess here for why fusion uni is giving that choke okay i i do i i can't say i disagree but there's like in overwatch league generally no one really plays in choke okay because it's just too risky first of all like you mentioned maybe the enemy team has a rally right mm -hmm. and even if you have your own rally uh you, yeah it's it it's it just introduces variant because okay let's let's, let's talk about this uh most teams most traditional goats team they're almost always gonna have three ultimates up a lot of the times 
right? Because mm -hmm. the, the, the downtime for these three outs is very low because they're almost always brawling. Mm -hmm. So most of the time they'll have these out. They'll either have Transcendence up or they'll have Graviton Surge up or they will have a Rally up. Mm -hmm. In days, of course, a specific case where you have six outs and they have maybe one single out that of course you can hold a choke. But then again, if you have six out and they have one out, so you can hold anywhere and you'll probably still <laughs> yeah, win the game. Right. Yeah. So in that cases, yeah, I guess what you said was right. Like if you have way more ultimates, you, you don't really need to be scared of anything. Mm -hmm. If they have six outs and you have one out, then of course you have to back off their point. You have no choice. Because mm -hmm. once again, it doesn't matter where you hold, you're probably going to lose. So you probably want to back up and give them some space and try to store as long as possible and not hopefully mm -hmm. not lose. Mm -hmm. But in an even out situation, you know they probably have graph. They're like 70%, maybe they're 100%. You're not sure. You know they might have graph. Mm -hmm. They might have rally. They might have trans. You, you don't really want to hold and choke because what if they graph you to the wall? Right. Like, you, the you're trying to split. To yeah, we can, we, can, we can see this up. Like, okay. let's, let's take a look at the, the, mm -hmm. the gate. Mm -hmm. The best place for an enemy, for your Rhine to hold on defense, right? We're talking about defense. The best place for like a Rhine to hold, it's like over here, mm -hmm. right? Like, so when the enemy team, and then the rest of the team maybe holds like behind so when the enemy team comes in i'll use blue arrow for this when enemy team okay. comes in you have multiple angles you can oh wait let's undo this one you can hit them this way your zen is hitting them from main a threat from main uh -huh. you have your right heart moving in and swinging in and the enemy team really can't do much they could go for the ride but then your team sweeps in and kill them it's it's a choke right so that's right. what choke does where you split angles and you you really fuck them over because of terrain mm -hmm. but uh, the reason why this is bad is because what if they have rally? Then you mentioned maybe someone dies. What if they have graph? Then your, your Ryan gets graph on the wall. Mm -hmm. There are many, many things that introduce us variant that makes it so that your Ryan almost never want to stay here and your team stay here because it's there's just a lot of variance. At least in Overwatch League, people don't like randomness. Yeah. And yeah, people yeah, would rather take the fight on point where everything is clear cut, where you can actually fight the neutral game. You can actually make sure that uh, there isn't there's an easier app and flow than just like a random <laughs> random Zaf, uh like grabbing you to the wall and then just the enemy team uh, flying in and charging you. So mm -hmm. because of the, 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 the variant factor, it's less mm -hmm. predictable. People prefer the fight on point where right. they know that if they have more outs, they win. If they have less outs, they can stall. Mm -hmm. yeah. So there, like you said, there's a variance that's being introduced. Fusion University has an advantage and any variance just gives the Envy a slight chance to win and they, yep. and they don't want to give them that variance. Now, I, before we move on completely, I did want to talk about counter grabbing. So we ha are defending against grab because it's likely that Sharp is going to build up grab in this next fight. I have seen a lot of teams utilize a supportal plus mail. So they'll be in grab, they get grabbed, um, they use rally sound barrier trance, and then they may basically blizzard the floor, right? So that prevents against pins and things mm -hmm. that defends against pins and things like that and isolations. Um, are you of an opinion that that's a good counterplay? And if so, what kind of support should Fusion University be looking to use? Or they don't have barrier, which is not so. Do you just default to trance, or do you kind of evaluate the situation? And go, mm, maybe rally will be. Good As in, you're saying that if Fusion University plays, uh, wait, sorry, to repeat your point. Yeah, if they yeah. get if they get grabbed, Fusion University. Yep. Do like what support do you think they should pop here? Because I'm talking about like, do you like do you like blizzarding your own grab, or do you do you want to save it for you, the? You can just trans. You can just trans it. Yeah. Okay. Okay. Yeah. Because like, uh, then you, you whether the the main wants to please it or not, uh, it's up to him. Because it's very context heavy. If you, everyone's half HP and the enemy team has like a perfect position, every, like there are five people that are able to follow up because they're very close to the graviton target, mm -hmm. then you might not even want to please it because everyone's just gonna die quick, really, really quickly. If mm -hmm. the if the Zag graph like maybe two three people but the enemy team is like 10 meters off mm -hmm. you can start to think about whether your blizzard can actually stop them right, so it really comes down to the question whether it yeah right. it, whether your blizzard actually can stop them before two or three people die because there is a cast time like you mentioned okay so. okay that makes sense but then the rest of them just fall i like how nice is focusing on using his primary fire as well doesn't have to worry about doing too much damage he's already got that ultimate so instead he uh can i just uh yeah. mention something yeah, or like, please, something please. Uh, I think the difference between just I just want to make it clear so it's easier when we go in uh, when we continue the this discussion mm -hmm. in the analysis of this point. Uh, be the difference between contenders and Overwatch League is that is okay. I'll, I'll just talk a little bit about Overwatch League. In stage one, Overwatch League uh, play style was similar to how contenders play now. So stage one into a little bit of stage two, the level of Overwatch League goats play was similar to how uh, the current contenders team played. So I think I tweeted something. Uh, that said that the contenders team are improving drastically. And I say that because when you start playing GOATS, um, 
first of all, you start assigning roles for your ultimates. So you'll say, this out is to do this. This out is to do this. When I have this out, I'm going to use this with this. When I have this out, I've used this and this. Mm -hmm. And that's, that's, that's good, right? Because you find efficient, you find the most efficient way to do it. But mm -hmm. at, the, at the most efficient way of doing things, there's no fixed roles because there are many exceptions. So you only have guiding principles in how you want to use ultimates. So for example, like we were talking about Blizzard, right? Should you use Blizzard to counter them? The answer is, it's always, it depends at the highest level of play. But in Contenders or in early Overwatch League, when everyone didn't know what it depends means, then you'll always see someone using ultimate A and B and the enemy team says, wait, they are using ultimate A and B. Let's use ultimate C and D because that's exactly how right. uh, it, it feels the most efficient, right? right? And then sometimes it's inefficient because they, the teams didn't know whether the teams didn't know when it's a sure loss and they should have just cut their losses uh -huh. or whether it was counterable. But right. like Overwatch League between in stage two, stage one was kind of stagnant, I thought. But well, that's my opinion. Stage two, the Overwatch League team went through a very drastic growth. A couple of Overwatch League teams created a couple of new strategies and conceptual gameplay. And the entire of everyone, every Overwatch League team went through like very drastic improvement in mm -hmm. stage two. And then everyone now, like the ultimate usage is very different from stage one. So stage two, end of stage two ultimate usage, very different from stage one ultimate usage. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. We, so, we, we've seen things like uh, yeah. counter grabbing, we've seen things like counter bombing, we've seen like yeah. pin plays. Well, in, the, in the early stage one, everyone was just like comboing or stuff, you yeah. know, like very, very obvious yeah. stuff. So yeah, so when that's why I just want to make it known that I'll, I'll be trying to uh, draw like a I'll be trying to talk about the differences mm -hmm. between contenders and Overwatch League as we go through the analysis that this might have been an Overwatch League level play and, and that's, that's right. all stuff. So, so when it comes to Mei, I guess, I'm saying, oh, we can use Mei as a counter. Like, you get grabbed, you can then blizzard the floor. But then you're saying, well, it depends. Like, if you have a distance enough to be able to get the blizzard to activate, then yes. So, like you said, that was one of those switches where I'm like, oh, we, they, we grab, we blizzard. But sometimes that's not the play. Sometimes you go, okay, this fight's already lost. Sometimes maybe you could use a blizzard to get through a choke, like to, to discourage them from using a wall. Sometimes you would, yep. you use your own grab and then blizzard on top of that to set up pin plays or to, you know, to outlast the trance kind of a thing. Um, yep. Okay. So any other any other uses for Blizzard that you could think of off the top of your head in this? Uh, uh, in not this? really. Okay. Maze is pretty simple in. Okay. The, yeah, Maze is one of the more. Okay. Yeah, simple. Like. Okay. Time escapes. The rest of his team can pick up on that ultimate charge. You can see it's paying dividends. They got five ultimates ready to go for this next fight. But Team Emmy also going to be pretty loaded for Bear. They're going to have the transcendence ready to go. But Changsik moving. I just wanted to pause so you could talk about like the optimality of what both teams want to do. <clears throat> so. Hmm. Almost the envy is pretty fucked here. Um, I don't. I don't see a way they can. They can do anything. Uh, they probably just want to rush with rally. Honestly, like if they don't use rally, then Fusion University is just gonna. They need to use rally to push this space. Like they need mm -hmm. to use rally to push into Fusion University. Mm -hmm. So even though they would like to, okay, there is one overarching concept right now. Envy is going to lose. Envy is <laughs> yeah. going to lose. Like, we know Envy is going to lose. This <laughs> yeah. The thing is how and what resources they're going to use and what resources Fusion University is going to lose use before the next fight starts. Mm -hmm. If Fusion University use both their Blizzard and their, their Graph mm -hmm. and Envy only use a single Rally, that's good for Envy. Mm -hmm. But it's unlikely that's going to happen. Envy will probably need to use more than one ultimate and force them to use these two ultimates. And then the very next fight comes in, come in with their own win condition. That's mm -hmm. what Envy is hoping to achieve, right? Use mm -hmm. as little ultimate as possible. In this case, what Envy want to do is to make sure they they end this fight as quickly as possible. It's kind of hard to exp it's kind of hard to explain because it's 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 weird to say you want to lose as quickly as possible, mm -hmm. but that's essentially what you want. You want them to use their ultimates right now, mm -hmm. uh, and you want them to use their ultimates right now, lose the fight, while at the same time, as you lose the fight, you build the rest of your ultimates. Mm -hmm. You build the rest of your ultimates for the very next fight. Yeah. So you want to build your ultimates this fight, and you want to lose the fight as quickly as possible, When as, and you want them to use these ultimates for you to lose the fight. Right, so you need to find a way to force them to use their ults as fast as possible yeah. so that you can quickly lose the fight. Um, and, yeah. and Rally is a good way of doing that. Um, the, the, one of the downsides, kind of on a slightly separate note of not running a diva of your own, is obviously it helps you get through chokes and things like that, but there's no wild card chance of you winning this fight. Because with diva, there's a chance maybe I can eat a graph, maybe I can eat the mail, maybe we can find a way to win this fight, like negate two of the rules. Envy has nothing, like they, they, they can't possibly win this fight unless Stan hits an incredible shatter, which is unlikely. The, the only wild card now is shatter, and the more likely thing that Envy needs to do is, like you said, 
find a way to force out those ults as quickly as possible, lose as quickly as possible, and push back in next fight with an ultimate advantage. You agree with that? Yeah. Okay. So we will see how they force that fight. It'd be disastrous if they lost this fight without Fusion Uni using any ults. Or even if they just use one ult, that would be bad. They need Fusion University to use a couple ults. Um, okay, I'm watching. So they have, they have, they've comboed Grav and May Blizzard. Um, so Ellie Vote does what we kind of described. They, they trance, but they also Blizzard themselves. And, and looking at the distance here, like the, the distance between Ryan's, uh, I don't know why it keeps defaulting to gray for me. Um, I, I think this Blizzard, self Blizzard might work out. Um, you did. I actually think it's a bad Blizzard you from Ellie You do think so. Okay. No, why would you think yeah. so? Uh, it's, it's not. Like it's it's the the distance between Fusion and University, uh, it, they are too close. I can see Still why NV thinks they are far enough mm -hmm. because uh, the right isn't uh isn't directly right in the middle of them, and Berna the Zaya isn't directly right in the middle of them, which is true. But like, it's yeah, this timing right now, I'm I'm not sure, but I'm okay. I, I'm actually pretty sure right now. I think Chansey can charge. I think Chansey can charge someone and not get frozen. Oh. It's very very slight. I think it's by half a second, but it's just. It's just what I feel, I get experience mm -hmm. as a coach or something. Yeah, yeah, okay. It feels like it's chargeable, so, so yeah. Get... I think yeah. it pins someone before you get frozen. Okay, so, yeah, okay. Yep, and there it is. So, so I am... Where is Crimzo? Crimzo gets booped. So Crimzo gets booped with the pin. So at this point, it's not even the pin itself. It's it's the boop of the pin that sends Crimzo, like, into lost. And also, it's worth noting... um. I'm trying to see here. Okay, so never mind. That, that, that's irrelevant. So, okay, so they 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 boop. They boop the trancings in. There you go. Uh, Envy just shouldn't have done it because the terrain is just too shit for Envy. Like, yeah, it's it's just really shit. I I cannot see how Envy could win the fight. Maybe if like Stan. So e yeah, maybe if Stan hit like a shuttle before he gets frozen or right. something. So e even like even if the May Blizzard had been so in that in that position, might have been a decent play. The whole concept, like you had said, was trying to force them to use as many ults as possible without using any of your own so you could push a next fight with an advantage. Yeah. And Fusion pop Grav and Blizzard almost immediately. There and so Envy didn't have to use this. They could have just lost yeah. the fight. Um, uh, sorry, I'm just gonna bring back to here. Wait, here and here. I thought that the trans was fine. Because Trans will have given them a fighting chance and Fusion University will have to use... Because if Fusion University should wanted to go like this way, right? They, they use Graf first mm -hmm. and then they try to win with Graf. Envy is going to Trans, so it's one for one. Then Fusion to win the fight, use Blizzard. At this point in time, Envy should have stopped and not use any ultimates. Right. Because if you look at the position of uh, Fusion, it's this position is really... Envy can only go in by this way. So Envy can only go in this way. Right, this is the this is the approach factor that MV has, and no one else can spread out. Uh, no one else can flank. It's very very hard mm -hmm. for them to do so. Mm -hmm. But Fusion University, you have one angle here. You have one angle here. You can pin someone over here. The value, the advantage in terrain that Fusion has is too like it's it's too insane for MV to not lose this fight. So they have to make sure they trans the graph maybe. Mm -hmm. But after that, when they blizzard, they have to cut their losses. Mm -hmm. Then they go into the next fight with their own blizzard and graph. Mm -hmm. The only reason yeah. I had said the trance would might have been a misplay is if I if I heard correctly, I believe the blizzard and grab were used simultaneously. So let me listen again. Yeah, so they're, they're used simultaneously. So maybe in that instance, you could go, okay, well, they've already committed the Blizzard. I don't think my team survives this. But yeah, it, 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 especially if it's subsequent, like Grav and then Trance and then Blizzard, if you can like give your team a fighting chance and force additional ultimates, then yeah, that, that would make a lot of sense. I would still say it's not like Crimson Fault. I would say Crimson has to Trance anyway, because Trance is something that you, you need to do to force more ultimates. Mm -hmm. Otherwise, it's even worse if like, yeah, I don't know. Yeah. If Crimson doesn't trans this and Elevote uh, blizzards this, what Fusion University will do is Fusion University will not even use their blizzard. They will win with just Graf alone. Mm -hmm. okay, so, last fight. There is time for a regroup. What is your your coach for Team Envy, and 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 you're you're screaming in their head like the uh, Jane tournaments where the coaches could actually coach live. <laughs> how, how do you win this next fight? How how do you uh, what do you try and force? Uh, is there a win condition you could set up while, I guess, in this situation, being down 
like you you know they still have they have basically positional advantage right so there's rally for rally shatter for shatter i mean you, you have a graph and they don't and that that means you you can just graph someone and just yeah and and they're, they're, they they die anyway you can just graph as long as your graph is good enough you win because you could always pin someone through trance and if they use trance and sound barrier uh it, it doesn't matter because you can just use you just use your own sound barrier late, later in the fight and you have support out advantage it's yeah envy mm -hmm. just wins by grabbing it's mm -hmm. pretty straightforward for envy okay sounds good wears off you're stuck in place you have a snow globe definitely Beating down Envy right there. So many members frozen within. And of course, once the Transcendence runs out, they're all out of healing. They're all out of position as well. So I, I do find this interesting, though. Um, so we, we had talked about this kind of being the wild card. Does Fusion mm -hmm. University feel like they'd have a better chance to survive a grab here? Um, or are they just trying to stuff them at the choke? Because uh, Fusion University, despite, like, they, they have triple support ult, right? They have triple support ult, yep. so that they could survive this grab. Um why, why I, mean, do you think I think the, this fight the only reason why they're playing at the choke right now is because they have a May. If you have a May, I think all teams should try to play at the choke. So mm -hmm. yeah. I'm saying like as opposed to last fight where they gave up the choke. Um, yeah, that's now, true. You're, you're, now last holding. fight they did give up the choke. Uh, they did give up the choke, but last fight they also had like ultimates that would definitely get them the victory. They got the right. graph. So and you might as well burn as much time yeah. as possible. Is it? Yeah. So okay. you might as well just let them come to point. Right. And, and this is last fight, down. nonetheless. This is last fight, no matter what happens. Yep. So holding them in the better position, you don't need to worry about burning more time. Just if you win this fight, it's it's over. If you survive yep. the graph, it's essentially. Over. Okay. We're gonna try and lead for way here. Gonna get that. Rally in. It's a bit of a long distance rally. Yeah, it's a, it's a pretty bad rally. Yeah. And that's a better rally. <laughs> yeah. Uh, Fusion Navy oh. fucked up pretty big time. Now, I'm looking. Fusion seems. I'm trying to see. Let me just kind of get a good glimpse of how this fight's staging. So, right here. Um. The wall is ineffective. Um, we've got nice on a little flank below at the bottom of our screen. And it, <clears throat> anything that's standing out to you right now? The Fusion University right now is playing too defensively. They should be rushing right now. Like uh, outside of Chansik, who needs to be careful of the shadow. Mm -hmm. uh, Fusion University has a good chance here to win the fight with Rally alone. Mm -hmm. uh, they they can and we will probably grab nonetheless. But yeah, they can put out far more pressure. Like. Right now, this rally is useless. Snilo might as well not rally because this, like, you can see Snilo pushing up with rally, but Changsik Bana, uh, uh Changsik Bana is still playing like super defensively. So yeah. nice that Snilo is what what they should be. So nice and Snilo is where they are yeah. supposed to be. Yeah. But Changsik is playing way too far back with Bana. Yeah, yeah. They, they kited the rally too far, and and now they're trying to close distance again. But Envy has already kind of won the space for free. Um, yeah, I, I don't, I don't, I don't know about that either. I don't think you even needed the rally to force grab either. I think, I think, in I think they can rally because you, you, you don't, you don't always want to cut. You, you need to like issue a threat, like yeah. yeah, right, right. No, what, what I'm saying is like if this rally is, if mm -hmm. if we they had been able to hold the position a little bit better, maybe rally a little bit closer, that might have made more sense. Um, yeah, or, oh, or even oh, just, just, or yeah. even just matching rally, like match rally right mm -hmm. here rather than back here. Yeah. So Ch yeah, Chansey just needs to be a little bit more aware. And Snilo maybe, it could be a comms issue. Snilo needs to say, I've rally, I've rally, all right, all right, we can go in rally, we can go in rally, three, two, one, rally. Then mm -hmm. then Chansey will probably be somewhere like here. Then they could actually, yeah, really smash into them with mm -hmm. rally. But right now it's pointless. Right. Both rallies has been used to so they wall off Zarya, Nice is in, Snilo is in deep. Oh, I don't think they should have wall as well. Like Nice shouldn't have wall. Yeah, the wall, the wall is ineffective. No, um, it's yeah. It's not that it's not just not effective. It's that they should just. They, I think I. I'm not super sure, but I think they should hold it for graviton. So they should use rally to push them. Or or Sorry? so you, like you get grabbed and then you wall like right here. Is that what you're saying? You you get grabbed and then you use your wall to prevent them from following up in okay. some way. Okay. Okay. As well, car car is up here. Um, at the top of the grav. Control points. More yeah, he gets pinned. Um, okay, so this is this is big. Oh, oh and he gets counter shattered. Yeah, so that was pretty much just the pin on Karkar. Um, 
like you said, you could have looked back at that alarm is popping off. You could have looked back in that and said, hey, maybe if Nice had saved Wald and used it defensively, perhaps that might would have worked better. That would have prevented the pin play from happening. Um, yeah. But either way, like Fusion did force Grav. Uh, they forced Shatter. Um, and they got rally out, and then you know they are still at something of an old advantage. They are going to have to push into a positional, um, situ uh, like a positional uh, advantage from Envy. Um, mm -hmm. And Crimso is close to trans, but Crimso has actually died here. They have their own beat, their first or their own grab, um, and they'll beat the f well. They're even on May ults here, so we will see. Yep. Oh what? Oh wow. Okay. Uh, I'd just like to uh, also like mm -hmm. praise Nice and Snilo. I think both of them seem to be uh, Nice, Snilo, and Alam are probably Fusion University best players. They they have very good game sense. They know when to push. They know you can see through their movement across the map that they know when to punish mistakes. They know exactly when to hold. Mm -hmm. uh, the other Fusion University player, they're not always playing at the correct tempo. So mm -hmm. yeah. How, how much do you that do you think is just experience with the team, game knowledge? Um, uh, or just... I, I have no idea because I, I don't know those players personally. Okay. But yeah. Okay. Bernard's going to stagger himself. He needed to... He needed to oh, well, I say that as they uh, they come back fast. So what do you think about this? Um, um, we've got Cheng Sik there. They are going to defensively beat. Um, my concern, though, is that even though they did were able to get a couple of eliminations, the last two eliminations were on Team Envy's side, which means, yes, you're going to force ultimates, you're going to force beat out of Envy, but there's real no chance of you winning this fight here um, if you're Fusion University. Well, I, think, I, think, I think it's a good grab, actually, because... Uh, Envy has no Zaya, they have no damage, mm -hmm. they have no damage whatsoever. Mm -hmm. Fusion University right here, uh, it's it's a bit iffy, but I can see why he makes the grab. And we can argue that, you know, maybe he doesn't, but I think it's a risky play that it's a calculated risky play, yeah. Okay. In fact, that right there, Chansik made another mistake. <laughs> Sorry, Chansik, it looks like <laughs> I'm blasting you all the time, but yeah, Chansik should have just followed up. Char, 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 Yeah, char, char. yeah, yeah, that, that would have been, that would have been That's nice. what happens when like you have, it looks like a bad play from the Zaya, mm -hmm. but sometimes a bad play is actually someone playing very, very well and the rest just not seeing the same opportunity. No, that's fair, that's fair. Right. Right. That's fair, the, 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 big, the big thing is this, you don't want to trade ults. Like this is like, it, assuming that this is like Chang's fault for not following up, right? And not a mistake on Bernard's decision making. Mm -hmm. A one-for-one one trade when it comes to Grav is almost always bad. Um, like, just simply going, oh, we're going to trade transfer Grav and just going to leave it at that and walk away. That's not what you want. You want to try and get that elimination, like you were saying. You want to try and force out um, the sound barrier. You want to try it. Like, because if Grav still has the opportunity to get kills through trance, right? Um, so if, in this situation, they're just basically trading beat for grab and then backing off. And then, and that's not what you want to have to do. You don't want to be in that position. And like you said, some of that or a lot of that could be on Changsik for not going for the pin. If they had gone for the pin, maybe uh, then they're able I'll to just like eliminations. To, I'll, I'll just like to uh, add something. Sorry, sorry for interrupting, Spilo. Mm, no, uh, one of your viewers said, ask whether he has charge. And I realized that maybe Changsik doesn't have charge because he might have charge from the spawn. That's, a good, from the spawn that's a good point. Yeah, that's a good point. Thing. If that's the case, then yeah, then Chansik didn't make a mistake. And you, you're right. Maybe he he probably charged. So, mm -hmm. yeah. So, so chat, re then. really quick, one of the problems, chat, in, in this in this instance, it's, it was a gamble and it didn't pay off. But in your own comp games or in your own in your own scrims, whatever level you play, if it's a 4v6 or a 5v6, and you just basically are using trading ults. So like if you use a rally and you force their rally or you use a grab and you force their trance and you don't actually have a realistic threat of winning that fight, you don't want to take those trades because in every 6v6, there's a chance for a single ultimate to win a fight despite it being countered. Um, so in other words, you can you can pop a beat and they can match beat, but maybe because you got the beat first that you're able to get an elimination before they counter beat. Like you, you burn down their brig really fast. Whereas in a 4v6 or a 5v6, even if you force them to match your ultimate, there's a significantly lower chance of you actually getting one of those chance eliminations out. And one of those chance eliminations out of being, uh, out of using that ult in a 6v6 is why you is one of the benefits of using an ult in this situation um 
like let's just pretend that this is this is a you know a, a normal game and that this wasn't a gamble like grabbing for sound barrier when you've already <laughs> lost the fight is not the play because there was real zero chance of securing an elimination in that grab so even though you forced an ultimate like you get you threw away your opportunity to get a kill despite them having a counter because there's always a chance to get a kill through a counter always and in this situation there's not a chance because there's not enough people in fusion university there um or in this situation he doesn't have pen whatever the case may be you had something to say john yeah so in your opinion do you think this graph is bad you, you mentioned um, I don't graph. think I wouldn't don't say it's a bad graph, but it's not a very good graph. I, I don't think there's. I think I what this tells me. This tells me that I don't think Bernard was paying attention to the sound barrier. Um, they might have. I, they might have known or called it, but he just forgot. Um, because what I'm seeing here is right here is he's like, I'm still alive. I just got two kills, and these guys, you know, the brig is low. Um, maybe he didn't track the sound barrier. Maybe he thought that he could get a kill before the sound barrier went off. Um, the, the personal bubble is a little early um, as well. Like maybe maybe he grabs here um, and then he walks through and he personal bubbles and he isolates the brick and gets the kill on the brick before the, you know, and the barrier doesn't get to the brick. I, I don't like this grab very much though, no. Not with it. Not on the contrary, I think this grab is an excellent grab. I think it's an... It's a really, really good grab. Okay. Uh, for rank, it'll be a, it's a bad grab, but for for specifically this example, I think it's a very, very good grab. Okay, so what, what what's your reasoning for that one? Because if Chansik has a pin, mm -hmm. that'll be insane. But let's say Chansik doesn't have a pin, it's still, Fusion University can still use this opportunity to win the fight. Mm -hmm. Right here, uh, the sequence of event will go like this. Bernard grabs, and Bernard knows that Chansik is there. Uh, and Bernard probably knows about the sound barrier as well, but mm -hmm. he, he still grabs anyway. Mm -hmm. uh, grabs here, uh, tries to follow up. Chansik right here should go in. Mm -hmm. Right now, Chansik and Bernard should go in, because right now it's a 3v3. And uh, the 3v3 is Ryan, uh, Jaru, and uh, Lucio versus mm -hmm. Lucio, Zaya, and Chansik. And this is a 3v3 Fusion University will definitely win. Mm -hmm. It's it's like very advanced, but, but I'm very, very certain that Bernard knows about exactly who is with him. Right now, they start going in. Chansik, uh, Kaka, Speed Bulls, they start fucking swinging at these people. Mm -hmm. These people will exit their graph, maybe at half health, because Sabrina doesn't last forever. They'll exit in a bad position at half health. And even if Bernard is going to die or Chansik is going to die, Kaka just sound better here. They'll kill these three people easily. Mm -hmm. And then, then break it out will be back here. Mm -hmm. they, they can win the fight right mm -hmm. now. My, my, only, my only concern with this, and, and part, of the, part of the reason why I think we might be having this disagreement is based off of, if we don't know where these two are. Um, I, I, they died earlier, so they should be back sooner, but maybe they're just still outside. And if that's the case, then I, I think I would agree with you, but it's, it's just hard for me because I don't know exactly where this, the status of those respawns are. Yeah. Um, so. But the, the thing is, uh, you, you must always take risk. Like in, in, in Overwatch, uh, high level play, mm -hmm. there are, uh, if the other team is very, very good at some occasion, you have to think to yourself, all right. There's a seventy percent chance of success. I'm still gonna go for it. I don't have perfect knowledge, but I'm still gonna go for it. Because mm -hmm. we have to acknowledge that you never have perfect knowledge in every single fight. So if the success rate is high enough, mm -hmm. and you in your if you're comfortable in your prediction, mm -hmm. then it's still a good graph, even if it did, that didn't pay off. It didn't pay off maybe because of some unlucky factor, like right. the Zen fight bought your face, or you know, someone fucked up somewhere. But mm -hmm. it doesn't take away from the fact that you have uh, to play the percentages. It's yeah, exactly. Right. Yeah. So in poker, even if you fuck up. But you did like every single thing mathematically possible, and you played the perfect play after like some nine hundred IQ like mm -hmm. freaking mathematical cal uh, calculation, mm -hmm. and you play the perfect play, and you still lost because the other guy has like four of a kind. Right, well, it doesn't take you do. That. It's an right. excellent play. Yeah, right. That's why I think right here they could win. Yeah, because I don't think Crimson and Elivo is close enough, even if they were close enough, and Crimson gets like an insane fireball, or Elivo gets like an insane war, and they were just here one second later. I think it's still arguably an excellent play from Bernard that could. Potentially win the fight if Chan, yeah, if Chansey follow okay. up. Okay, so Bernard yeah, plays the percentages and it. it just doesn't work out. No, because Chansey didn't follow up, but yeah. <laughs> no, because you can yeah. see Elifo isn't even here yet. Oh, there he is. But they could probably go have killed them. So, regardless here, uh, Fusion is in a little bit of an awkward spot. <clears throat> um... Trying to look at this here. So, you know, they have a beat. They are 
a little behind on the trance and they have a they have a rally so if you're fusion university here do you take this opportunity to try and f i feel like maybe if the, the the play for fusion university is try and get both of these out with just your barrier um both the 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 trance and the rally if you can um so maybe try and take <clears throat> like when envy rallies maybe kite the rally a little like push on the point kite mm -hmm. the rally counter barrier run onto them and try and maybe force a trance what do you think yeah that's probably what fusion wants to do okay yeah they, they, they probably don't want to like sound barrel first but no yeah, right have, right, right. The rally, yeah. there's the rally we'll see what car car does there it is that's a good sound barrel, yeah. Can't quite. Oh, 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 oh. Aye, there you go. Nice. So that's just as good. How does. Uh, why did Crimson not choose? Oh, Ellie is dead, <laughs> dead, reason. Yeah. So Crimson chooses not to trance, um, which. I understand why he's doing not doing it because he's like, oh, they're gonna have a blizzard. I want to have transfer blizzard, but I don't know. This is this is it. Like this is <laughs> like you have to. And, and I'm looking at this. Does Envy have another win condition besides saving the Rhine here? Um, they don't have a grav, so st I, I don't know if letting Stan one die here is the play because I can understand. Okay, well we we need to save transfer grav and then we can we have our own grav, but Envy doesn't have their own grav. Um, I, I'm I'm not sure if. So this is this is this is tough for Crimso, but uh, do you think he's too far away? What, what do you think? Uh, where's Crimso? No, uh, Crimso should have trans no matter what. It doesn't matter where he is. Like yeah. this is the fight to win, like you mentioned. He has to make it. Even if he's too far away, he has to try his best. Like yeah. the moment Stan is low, yeah. he fucking just trans. Like yeah. even if it's in yeah. because that's the win con. If Stan mm -hmm. one uh, survives by his, he. For Stan one to survive, he has to trance the moment he sees Stan one is in danger. Mm -hmm. If he tries to go for value instead of tempo, then mm -hmm. he's gonna shit the bait. Then it, it's gonna have like it's gonna look like a really good timing, but <clears throat> Stan one's gonna die and it's yeah. gonna be complete crap. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. I, I think either way, it's like like there's no there's no win condition for envy here now. So there is one win condition. Mm -hmm. uh, it's not a win condition. Sorry, you're right. That there, there is no win condition. Mm -hmm. It's more like they have like a, a fighting chance. Mm -hmm. Yeah, it's not really a win condition. So Crimson transfer and uh, uh, Ryan. Mm -hmm. Ryan survives. Ellie votes gets Blizzard. Immediately Blizzard. Uh, probably these ble yeah. the Blizzard will be at the same time as Nice. Then both of them will probably be in Blizzard. Mm -hmm. And then you hope in this Blizzard your Zaya <laughs> gets Graf, <laughs> right. your Ryan gets Jetter, right, and right, then right. they can mechanically outplay the yeah. enemy team before. Yeah. Yeah. Yep. So it's not really a win con like you mentioned. It's more like a fighting it, it, chance. But now they don't even have that. Chance. And they don't even have that. No. Right. It's gone. So, but Fusion University did play that very well. Like they they kited the rally yeah, a little did. bit. They beated late, and they were, with the beat were able to force an elimination on Ryan. So that yeah. was that was perfect. Yeah. No, that was perfect. That was probably the first five ten seconds worth of like like Overwatch League. That was like oh man, I don't want, I shouldn't I shouldn't keep. <laughs> well, listen. Think, think listen. Overwatch League is like. It sounds like some condescending little wow. shit. Like, oh, this is Overwatch wow, League. Yeah, oh, this yeah, is. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. Well, I don't think anybody's so, taking it that way. So, yeah, it's but that was good play. That ten seconds was like like uh, uh, a period of time with like very little mistakes. That was mm -hmm. exactly mm -hmm. what they should do, and they did mm -hmm. it. Yeah, I think a so lot of contenders play. struggles with the concept of chaining ultimates rather than comboing mm -hmm. ultimates. Overwatch League does oh, a, good a good job of a good, moving uh, one ult. You know, Overwatch League does a good job of like, oh dear. Overwatch League does a good job of um. You know, one ult and then the other ult to force that ult, and then I com counter that ult with that ult. Like you'll see a lot of contenders, they'll do the shatter bomb play, like send in the bomb and try and shatter the Rhine. Um, and, and and that has counters and good Rhines will deal with that. Good positioning counters it, but mm -hmm. Overwatch League teams they will bomb rush, and then the bomb explodes. The, their Rhine blocks it, but they maybe isolate the brig. Maybe they have to support ult, and then they shatter afterwards once the Rhine shield's already low. Yeah. Um, so so they're like, yeah. I think that's perfectly put Spillow. Uh, it I, I think I said in one of my stream that uh when contenders play it it looks like a Caesar Spillow Stone game. I use this, you use this, I use this, you use this. Mm -hmm. But in Overwatch League, at least more recently in stage two and stage three, uh well stage three haven't started, but in screams as well, mm -hmm. it it's more of like a flow. It looks like a kung fu movie. Mm -hmm. Like yeah, it's just people flowing from one move into another. Mm -hmm. There's no set combo. You mm -hmm. could combo but it's not 
It's mm-hmm. not the crux of your mm-hmm. condition. Well, like even looking at like things like EMP, when when you deal with EMP, it used to be only sound barrier, and people realized that that didn't really work. <laughs> so now yeah. it's like maybe we pre rally and then we sound barrier, or maybe we trance yep. this, maybe we trance EMP, or maybe we counter bomb the EMP, or maybe we counter grab the EMP. And like there's like a million different plays depending on the situation, depending on the map geometry, depending on what's available. Maybe we hide our diva, and 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 then the barrier might be enough. So anyway, so like you said, there's like a there's no set trade rules. It's like what is presented, what is available at that time. Mm-hmm. Uh, just to answer one of your Twitch viewer question, mm-hmm. like he only just got trans. Mm-hmm. Um, yeah, he, he only just got trans, but the moment he had it, he has to. He had to use it. Mm-hmm. Like the moment he had it, he has to use. It, but he didn't. He waited uh, like I, one of. I think things. there was an opportunity as well. I mean, let me look here. Yeah, so- see, he could use it like right at the moment he has mm-hmm. it. Like you spam Q the moment you have it, but he didn't. So it was one second late. Yeah. We have safe stand. We don't know, but he he had to try for it to be a mm-hmm. like a good play. Mm-hmm. And a lot of that is true. Is if you anticipate, um, like if you anticipate needing trance, you do generally position a little closer. Like Zins shouldn't be a million miles away if they're anticipating grav or. If you're anticipating, like if they're going aggressively in with a support ult and you think that you might need to counter, you do need to start moving forward a little bit. Yep. So it could have also been Crimson's positioning led him to believe that he wasn't going to be able to trans in time, which means it's a problem with his positioning. Yeah, we, we don't know exactly where was Crimson because yeah, we don't have POV of this. We, we I, only I know he's somewhere think, in the vicinity. Let me, let, me, let me look. I think that for like a brief second you saw him. I don't want to harp on this point too long, oh. but... Um, so... You could kind of see Crimzo here. It's actually close enough. It's pretty close, yeah. No. He has the option to be close at least. Mm. Okay, so we're on to, uh, what is this one? Garden? Night Market? Garden, okay. Um, so I, a lot of the times here, we'll kind of skip until we get a good POV of what's the rollout. So a lot of times teams meet in a pillar here, right? So Ryan Goatsmere's I had a question about this yesterday. Um, why don't teams just go white or whatever? And correct me if I'm wrong, if teams go white, I believe this rollout's a little faster, so you would get to point first if the enemy team went white, um, which kind of is the reason why you don't go white. Or is it just that this place is awkward to fight in? Okay. Or like, what, 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 <laughs> I, I haven't I didn't done the even know, I didn't even know you reached a point a little bit faster. It, it, yeah, but yeah, it, the reason why yeah, but it, it does make sense. Like it, it should be correct because mm-hmm. it's a it's a tech, it's a technical thing. So someone must have did the calculation. Yeah. But I like the reason why Overwatch League team. Sorry for using the Overwatch League thing again. Mm-hmm. Uh, the Overwatch League team don't play by white in the opening fight is because it's just a bad place to play. Mm-hmm. Like it's it's just a horrendous choke. So if a team move by here and a team move by move by here. Yeah. Uh. Yeah. It's. When you move out this area, mm-hmm. you have more space because you have this region of space. Yes. So you could play on half a point, but you could also move out and your Zen could like play somewhere like here, you could play behind pillar, could play on the sides. You just have more options than like mm-hmm. this half and to this area. Because once you're out of the point, once you're forced out of the point, you are sh- that shit place to go. That's there's nowhere. This is a corridor we, we have any cover. Mm-hmm. There's there's environmental kills. So this place it's just better than this half. You always mm-hmm. want to be in this half. So mm-hmm. the teams are moving here because they're fighting for the battle place. That's a yeah. good That's a good point because a lot of the times positions or pathing has to do with if we have to S key, if we have to back up, are we going to be screwed, right? So like you said, if maybe this point, this position is fine, but if this position is not or this position is not, then that's not why you want to be there. Um, We're going to see a little bit of that on Night Market. There's a very popular spot in Contenders where teams will path high ground and then drop but it's a bad spot and it drives me nuts when I see it because when you path there, if you don't wrap all the way around, your your Zen can, literally cannot S key or your Brig cannot back up. And so you just die if the enemy yep. team rushes. So we'll get to that when we get there. But like you said, that's a really good point. It has to do with where you're pathing or where, like if I have to give space, are we in trouble? Um, okay. That's personal bubble. On the side of Envy, there's a projected bubble. That was not a good bubble. I don't know if he got Cheng's it got booped. Um, maybe they're going for a bubble bait play, so they just want to build charge. It does look like he got booped a little bit, but that's no swings on the Rhine. Um, it's a little concerning. Uh, that was a wait. Can we see that again? Sorry, yeah, it's, it's really hard for me to see whether Envy's used their projected bubble. Uh, pots. Mm-hmm. Oh wait, the, wait. The envy use the projector. That, that, yeah. that was. I think that was personal. I think that was personal. You can kind of see oh, it on. So I can they see haven't it on used the projector yet. Okay. No, no, no. They haven't used the projector yet that I've seen. 
Um, that that Wait, was, that, projected, was right? that was projected. So yeah, that was a bad project. I, I don't know if both teams are going for like a charge bait play. Like you know what I'm talking about, like where they'll use both bubbles and they'll back off and then push back in with a charge advantage. But um, that is uh not a good bubble on either side. Like we don't have. Okay, players. if if Fusion was like a battle team right now, like if Fusion was Titans or Shock, uh, straight away right after NV used their projected bubble, Fusion wins like straight off, like mm -hmm. just at that moment yeah. because their their bubble. If your bubble has enough, like there are many different spectrum of bubbles. They're like, uh, it's hard to explain. Okay, so there's like S bubble where this single bubble single handedly allow you to get four swings into six members of the enemy team because they were all standing together. <laughs> yeah. There's like the perfect bubble into the perfect enemy, mm -hmm. uh, into a shitty enemy team comp. Yeah, but then there's also like like horrendous bubble where it literally does nothing. Mm -hmm. If somewhere along the line, if you can you bubble first? That's a question I think many people ask, and I'm sure like Minoru has like a great video about it. Mm -hmm. Can you bubble first into a fight? You can. If the bubble is good enough, if mm -hmm. you get enough value of the bubble, so if you bubble and then you go in and you hit like five people or something and you take a lot mm -hmm. of HP, it's going to be hard for them yep. to counter engage into you because they're all low, right? So right. if the bubble is good enough, it doesn't matter if you bubble first because your bubble is good. Mm -hmm. But if you bubble first and it's a shit tier bubble, like it yeah. got absolutely nothing. Now the enemy team, as long as the enemy team get any bubble in this spectrum, a counter engage bubble, you are going to get fucked and you don't have any bubble to respond. Right. The, so, the, the question isn't which bubble yeah. came first. The question is which bubble was better. That's that's generally, like you said, yes. because if you're yeah. able to get so much damage with your bubble, even though you bubbled first, their Ryan might have bubble, but their Ryan might be 250 HP. And so yeah, he, right. he's scared. Um, yeah, so there's, exactly. Okay. Well, well put. Okay. Um, but yeah, the, both bubbles weren't super great. I think Envy screwed up their bubble. And I either that or they are going for a charge play because immediately after that bubble, they started to back off, even though Changsik bubbles wasn't very good either. So this does feel like either a designated play or a mistake. Um, mm -hmm. I don't know how much charge Stan, like uh, Sharp got off of that projected, but hopefully he got some charge. But yeah. Both teams doesn't get a, neither of them get a whole lot of value out of the projected bubbles. Oh, he's way out of position that brig. Yeah. Okay. So this is this is problematic. So Envy starts to rotate to point. Um, Elevote lags behind, but as long as he doesn't get shield bashed, he's okay. And I don't think brig's anywhere nearby. But I don't know what Jeru sees here. Um, he is moving. He was the best chance, probably. Right, but. Changsik is not even is Cheng Cheng is discorded, I think. No, he's not. He's not discorded. He's at full HP. And you are a brig and your team is rotating to point. Hmm. <laughs> and he he is going in. Look at him. <laughs> Look at Jeru. Jeru has no fear yeah. right now. Um this is not good. And because of it, so so if you in Fusion Universe, they immediately recognize it. Um, and they have to project a bubble, so they have to bubble Jeru out. Can we, can we see it again? Because I was wondering whether it was a good play, but I'm not sure without seeing, like, without being able to see the rest of NV. So yeah. I, I will let you pause and play it to your heart's content. <laughs> Thank you. Because <laughs> <laughs> uh, uh, techni technically, this can be a good play. It's uh -huh. just. It, it might have been like a bait, like, oh, we bait the Rhine out and then we shield bash the Rhine, but it doesn't look like Envy is wanting to do that right now, based off their yeah. the Yeah, the end, no, his, his team looks like he want to rotate the point. Mm. If the general concept, if someone already called in the team comp that they should rotate upon, then it's fine. So, if they were actually still skirmishing here and the Rhine is like somewhere like here looking this way, mm -hmm. it can be a good play because mm -hmm. they can punish Chansik right now, force mm -hmm. him back, and then yeah. they can continue so to push. So I, I worked with a coach named Solheim, an EU coach, several months ago, and he made a really good point that's always stuck with me. And he said, it doesn't matter if one of your team throws if every team everybody on your team throws with him it's a play it's not a feed so <laughs> if jeru here is feeding if the rest of envy feeds with him and just takes advantage of the fact that you know he's feeding then you can actually get something out of it like if if you're if you send your zenyatta into the back flank zenyatta all the way behind the enemy goats team <laughs> and the enemy team goes oh this is in they run and kill this in if your team runs in and tries to kill them like maybe you'll get value out of it so um bad feed plays can be capitalized off of if everybody does something at once if jeru is by here by himself then this is a feed if jeru is here and his team comes in with him then this is no longer a feed yeah but it does look like a feed <laughs> it does look like yeah a it feed. does look like a feed yeah. <clears throat> projected bubble is going to be used envy or fusion is going to fusion use bubble too though and what did he get out of that bubble was that just defense against yeah so there's the bubble there um 
And and this is we're just trying to see if Ja Rule, yeah. Yeah, and this is the danger of shooting on things that aren't Ryan. Like obviously there are circumstances in which you want to do that. Jeru is clearly feeding, um, but he does get away, unfortunately. The the, the problem is he got, he got away from this? Yeah, Jeru looks and gets away. And the problem the with this is when Jeru gets away here, even though they had to use bubble on him, Cheng Sik having to be bubbled here, like this entire time, Envy now is now focusing Ryan. And now Cheng Sik, everybody's shooting Jeru. Jeru gets away, but everybody in Envy is shooting Cheng Sik. And Cheng Sik is now in a lot of trouble. And it's not just his HP, it's also his shields. So his shields busted. And this entire time, this entire time, Stan 1's not been shot. It has been them shooting Elivote, who was out of position. Jeru was out of position. And because they didn't get the eliminations on these two targets, uh, Cheng Sik is screwed. Cheng yeah, it's, a common, it's a common mistake for like a DPS player that switch to Zaya but doesn't have like a lot of playtime on Zaya. If I'm not wrong, Sharp is like a widow maker. Mm -hmm. Anyway, yeah, so Zaya, like less experienced Zaya, uh they, they like to bubble their Ryan when their Ryan is making an aggressive play. Mm -hmm. And it, they're right in that the fact that most aggressive play needs to be bubbled. Mm -hmm. But there are maybe I don't know, seven out of ten aggressive play needs to be bubbled. Yeah. But there are some aggressive play that it makes no sense to bubble because it it's not worth it. Like you probably could kill the guy anyway or you need it because of a more important reason later on which is in this case this very reason right he needs to keep the bubble for when fusion university actually rotates backwards to help jaru so mm -hmm. he needs a bad bubble mm -hmm. like you mentioned mm -hmm. and now cheng six gonna die almost certainly oh no they hide well that's a long flank so they are able to they are able to hide but fusion has taken a lot like hp wise fusion has taken a lot of damage um envy is going to get first cap um and like bernard right now like bernard's low we've got nice too slow who's got cheng sik who's probably still recharging shield and envy is on point both so. teams are playing like pretty badly like mm -hmm. both teams have opportunities available to them that allows them to win mm -hmm. first one team makes a mistake the other team could win but didn't opt to mm -hmm. and then like didn't see the opportunity or didn't play cohesive mm -hmm. enough and then the other team had an opportunity because the first the other team fucked up the opportunity and mm -hmm. they tried and then they fucked up and then it went to the other team and the other team mm -hmm. fucked up so mm -hmm. right now we're just seeing like a lot of it just mistakes uh, being I wouldn't made say bad and not getting goats punished play, but yeah yeah i would say bad goats play because it, it's not like horrendous i, I don't want to really say everything N nothing is ever bad or good there's a lot of like gray areas because these two teams they are actually pretty decent at goats but this is definitely not perfect goats play this is like slower than it should they are doing yep. sort of the correct things but because they're doing it too slow mm -hmm. uh people are escaping with like half hp mm -hmm. yeah mm -hmm. and, and and like you said it's like there's been windows to punish those mistakes like jeru feeds fusion university recognizes it but they're just too slow to kill him and then he gets away and like stuff like that is how you lose fights okay so they do get rally first um they're gonna push in with rally envy's going to try and kite that then i assume match it with a rally of their own There's personal bubble, and they don't actually get an elimination out of it. Um, okay, so stand one's shield is low, but they're going to rally in, and they have rally advantage. But unfortunately, so this is a this is some this is a really unfortunate rally too. So what what Envy needs to do here is so he gets moved. There's the rally right now, but unfortunately because Fusion did a good job focusing down stand one, then. Envy is no longer going to be able to push out aggressively with this rally because Stan wants going to die regardless if they push out. Um, that's not a huge deal because they already have point cap, but it's going to be difficult for this is this is this is not an aggressive rally anymore. Uh, can I just uh, mm -hmm. move back to the fight just yeah, to please. see what they could have done better? Please, uh, I wasn't super sure. Yeah, please. The heck is wrong with my. So chat again, the notifications, like the bit follow stuff is disabled just during this uh, during this stream. I will enable them back once the uh, collaboration is done. <clears throat> Sorry, syncing, mm -hmm. resyncing my video. Uh, oh, and lucky. Yeah, here, let me see if this cute, there you go. Anything? Yep, nice. thanks, thanks. Yeah, uh, no problem. I got it back. Awesome. So still here. Huh. He rallies right here. Oh, it's way too far. Yeah, like that, 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 yeah, that is <laughs> that is another this is, very, this is a, very far yeah. rally. This is more like a healing rally, I guess, but yeah. he didn't need to do that. What he could have done was just 
someone play here, someone, you know, people just spread around, mm. try to hide from mm. more damage. And then once they have speed boost back, speed boost, touch the point and rally. This, <clears> to yeah, to this me, is rally is like projected bubble. It can have defensive <laughs> capabilities, but it can also have offensive capabilities. Yep. And the best bubble is one that gets both. So it blocked their shield bash or it blocks their damage, but it also allows your Ryan to swing for free. With yeah. rally, so, rally, right, right now, rally, it's like mm -hmm. it can heal up and it can add armor and things like that. But you also want to get some aggression out of it as well, because like there's a lot of armor being generated, and you want that armor to be like used, and you don't want to have to just use it to stabilize. Okay, that's not that's not utilizing it to its full potential, in my in my opinion. Yeah, uh, Envy should win this. Like Envy should win this fight. I know they are already controlled the point, but they should win this fight because they have rally coming up, and rally is a single handedly a win condition if mm -hmm. you know how to use it right. Mm -hmm. So. Uh, rally in team MV just needs to kite, 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 mm -hmm. kite, kite. It's a good peel okay, from uh, Stan one vote. Kind of, yeah, Stan one is kind of feeding actually. <laughs> so both Reinhardt are not playing very well. Stan one is feeding because he actually engaged on the Fusion University even when they had rally. So, like, Stan one should be playing more defensively. Yeah, he got booped, but yeah. it does look like he was swinging wide. Yeah, he, there's no yeah, reason like, to show shield there. There's no reason to be shielding yeah. here at all. There's, he should just be hiding yeah. behind. He should have just been hiding and resting <clears throat> shield. Yeah. So he show gets broken, he gets booped, mm -hmm. and he takes a lot of damage. The reason why he, he cannot take damage is because the moment he, his team has rally up, he, they want to push. Mm -hmm. And the only way they can do that is if Stan 1 is healthy. Mm -hmm. So what they really should be doing is like they're either kiting, or they're hiding mm -hmm. their shield, or they must be doing something that stops Stan 1 from getting booped, which is mm -hmm. either not standing close, probably means that you need to back up a little. Mm -hmm. Just back off a little, let them take a little bit of space, mm -hmm. get rally, then push back hard and win the fight. But yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah, okay. Yeah, sorry. So, that's Stan okay. 1 gets booped, and that, that's a good call, because that's the reason why they were not able to push in aggressively next fight. Yeah. So Okay. They should still win, I think. <clears throat> it's just a little yeah. bit harder. Yeah, okay. You can play if you want. Alrighty, so there's the rally. Unfortunately, it's another defensive rally. Looks like Cheng, so what I'm seeing from Cheng Sik's body language and is he kind of looks like he's going for shatter. So he, he's like kind of swinging back and forth and back and forth. Like he's got to look like for a little surprise on the one of these ends for a round. Where, where, where's the speed boost from Envy? Is that, what? Wait, is, this, is there a speed boost now? I don't know. I always have a hard time tracking Amp on third person. Yeah. I think they have speed boost now because they look like they're moving faster. Yep. See, they look like they're SPM, right? Everyone's moving really fast. Mm -hmm. Yeah, that's a waste because they are using they, they speed boost, but no one's actually pushing. Yeah, yeah. yeah that's that's bad play again. Once again, bad play from NP. Yeah. Yep. Okay. We will see if Cheng Sik lands the shatter. He tries to swing the Rhine out of the way, gets shield bashed. That was kind of telegraphed and gets punished. Matching grav, stand one shatters his own grav, and there you go. So yeah, St Chang Sik going for that shatter that he got he got punished pretty hard. That was that was fairly that was fairly telegraphed there. Did he have bubble? I'm actually curious. Was he bubbled? He might have been bubbled, but he had like that extra. So he's clearly looking for shatter here. Um, right, right. Right, right here. Like you can, you can tell, he's trying to swing the Ryan out of the way, um, and then shatter here. He is bubbled, but he is bubbled. The bubble. It, it, he's he's like because he's on ninety nine percent. The bubble actually bursts right as he's shattering. So right, there's bubble. Bubble's gone now, and then he gets shield bashed, and then he's dead. Okay. They commit grab of their own. And uh, there we go. I always feel like committing grav um, when you, you don't have your Rhine is almost a throw. Usually a throw. So, th so they're pathing white here. And I wanted to pick your brain about this. Um, a lot of the times, teams will... Th this requires good scouting. If they're g pathing white, they will stuff them in white. And they will... The only risk about like stuffing them in the white is that they can then rotate back to bridge fast. But if you scout that, usually you can defend against that. Are you? I know sometimes that teams will just let teams go right through this choke here, um, for free. And yeah. Now the risk is that you can sometimes send Lucios this way and boop people this way, um, 
outside of that, is there any other reason why you'd expect Envy to not be contesting here? Uh, contesting the choke right there? Mm-hmm. Because theoretically, their Ryan has to push into is in LOS, right? So he has to push into, like, their ours and just shooting for free. Is there any other reason why you'd, you'd expect Envy to not hold there? Uh, it's not that great a place to, to hold because the Ryan has no cover. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Like, if, if say, Ryan, I, I, the choke is decent. I, I cannot say the choke is bad. It's, yeah. it's, it's good, but yeah. the, there is a disadvantage. The disadvantage is the enemy Reinhardt, the enemy team, let's think about this for a little bit. The enemy team will almost always be able to filter in and out of the point. It's, mm -hmm. that, that's cover for them. Mm -hmm. But the Reinhardt here has no cover. Say they push, and he the push isn't strong enough, they don't have enough resources, or some somehow, somewhere, he, got, he gets boop or whatever, mm -hmm. there is no cover all the way until he gets back to point. Mm -hmm. So the choke is not as good as it looks like. It's a good choke, mm -hmm. I, I, I cannot mm -hmm. deny that, mm -hmm. but it's not a great choke, okay. because if it was a great choke, that would be, say, if there's something here, like if, if there's something right here, there's like a red terrain right here, mm -hmm. like a wall, maybe mm -hmm. this way, it would have been a great choke. It would have been the best choke in the game, because he could choke, and then you could hide here, and then you yep. could choke again. But be only because, uh, only because there's no cover, literally no cover, just a straight path. Mm -hmm. uh, if for some reason, uh, Uni managed to push out with Rally or Trance or anything, uh, Team Envy is going to get fucked all the way back. They're, mm -hmm. they're just going to speed boost, and Envy is going to try to back pedal. Right. But then they're going right. to get fucked all the right. way back into point. Okay, a so little bit like control, a little bit like control center in that regard, where they have that that hallway between the main choke and point, where it's always difficult. But even on control center, there is some environment. There's like a big like clump of something in the middle there, so you have some cover at least, I suppose. Um, but okay, we will uh, we will resume. This is strange. This is a, a clearly just a designated assassination play. Um, so I assume, you know, you get Ellie on the back line, you push in aggressively with your own bubbles, and then you just go in. Um, mm -hmm. This is interesting. I've never seen this before. There's a couple that's some really low folks that they're going to have to push. Are they pushing? Uh, yep, at four strands. Wow, nice. That was clever. Yeah, this, this sort of play is much more uh, common in uh, the Overwatch League because, yeah, like flank, flanking plays like that because everyone trusts each other to pin, so everyone trusts each other that mm -hmm. uh, to to make like plays that will win you the game alone. Uh -huh. I guess that's one of the the weaknesses, not weaknesses, but something that a contenders team are still trying to reach. Everyone plays as part of a team mm -hmm. because you need to. So when you join the team in Overwatch, the first thing first is you drop, you try to drop your solo queue instinct and you try to play within a role, right? Your role mm -hmm. is designed to do this, this, this. Your role is designed to protect the backline. Your role is this, this, mm -hmm. this. When you join a team for the first time, you learn roles. And contenders player, you know, they are trying to master this role mm -hmm. as part of their team. Mm -hmm. But at a certain point in time, to grow even more, you have to know when you can make that play away from your team to get even more value. Mm -hmm. So it's, yeah. So that's something that contenders team are still not very good at. They, mm -hmm. they don't know when they can make those plays that can carry the team whether it's like sneaking up and eating a graph from an mm. area or like by zen flanking and 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 hitting hitting the back line killing two people because that's your soul win condition mm. like plays that actually makes you stand out plays that right. look like you right. know like drawn up or something or, yeah, or pine yeah. video maker yeah, yeah, those yeah. are the plays that separate like yeah like really top tier player from just good players mm. and, and like we said earlier um ellie votes not feeding if her team pushes and his team pushes in at the same yeah. time. I so, mean, Elivote may was feeding, but as a diva, Elivote is one of the, probably one of the <clears> best diva in yeah. con uh, in the contenders showdown. Yeah. 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 So as long as his team pushes in with him on the back line, which they did, that allowed them to like, they can't just turn around and shoot Elivote because if they do, then the rest of their core are going to kill them. So and that forces trance. Very nice. And they don't get anything out of trance. They don't, they're not allowed to force anything else. So there's a, a weird rally. Hang on a second here. strange very strange indeed this this is a really the rally itself is fine but i'm a little surprised there's like like this this, yeah, this is the, like, the yeah jaru and the team yeah, the rest of the team are not playing on the same page no, i don't no, know no. whether it's like jaru's mistake or whatever because this just looks like a breakdown in comms it looks like yeah. jaru is not in voice comm or something and jaru goes like three two one pushing and then yeah. the rest of the team like stand yeah. one and shout goes like well 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 i don't shield care. and ellie votes over here shooting something yeah. over here and i don't know if there's even a discord on this target so this this like you said it does seem like a disconnect we've got a hard sh and then and then ryan swings onto the other side is he looking for a shatter no he doesn't have shatter 
Strange. Strange. So we've got we've, we've got a, a very very bad target split. We've got shield bashing stuff being committed to Zarya, and then I'm watching Stan One then start swinging on the Diva, and, the, and, and just this is just strange. Yeah, that's either the the tank the, the main tank fault or Jaru fault or just complication structure not being in place. So it's either it's one it's someone's fault. It's either the yeah it's either the guy because the main tank is generally the one that spear leads the. The aggressive play, <clears throat> he didn't do that. So mm -hmm. either Jaru didn't tell him, mm -hmm. or Jaru told him and he didn't react. Yep. Or yeah, or, or they just don't have like comm structure. Like they, they don't talk to each other. Then the, the entire fight uh -huh. they just say like one or two words. That sort of mm -hmm. stuff. Mm -hmm. Less resource available for fusion units. They move forward with a rally to counter. So then they match match rally or they they counter rally. For fusion units, they move forward with but a rally to they don't jarrus. seem to be pushing terribly much either. Oh, well, there's a little bit more of a push. So the problem I'm seeing here is <clears throat> they they counter Susnilo rallies now, but here's the bubble. Like, I don't, I don't know if he get he must have got a whip shot or something. He just yeah he got booped or something. So I mean that and that and that that that's it. Like you, you just wasted bubble. Stan one taking a whole host of damage. Chung Sick as well, who has to back off around the point. That beat to force themselves forward to try and take out Stan one. The shield has been broken. And the shield a lot of stuff happening right now. <laughs> um, <clears throat> trying to slow this down a little bit. To force themselves um, so they sound barrier on top of that. Fusion University um, try has to has to stack sound barrier right and then fire. Where did when did fire use this barrier? Am I missing something? When was when was Sunbury? Oh my gosh! How did I miss this? Uh, so they did sound barrier here. I missed that. Okay, so I I missed that. I missed that. They did sound barrier with that push. Um. Okay. So they sound barrier pushed them out. Envy still doesn't have a grav yet. Um. <clears throat> To force themselves forward to try and take out Stan One, the shield has been broken, and the shield has been. And then they get the kill on Ellie Vote before Trance pops. So they try and counter bomb the Grav. Looks like. To force themselves forward to try and take. Nope, she just gets demacked. <clears throat> yeah, she just gets demacked, and they get the kill through it. But they get Changsik too. How does Changsik die? All right, so Changsik's. Changsik, what Changsik? Do you see this? Hang on, hang on, I'll pause it. So Chengzik is right here. I don't know if he thought that he was out of the range of the bomb, but he goes to fire strike and so he can't shield. <laughs> yeah. Oh no! <clears throat> this sort of thing happens like pretty frequently. Like, okay, I can't say frequently. Yeah. It happens not. Oh dear. Okay. Well, I guess that, uh, I, 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 I okay. Um, I guess uh, that's that's that. Sharp is uh, Envy still has an active trance. They now have a shatter. Uh, they have a shatter, and Fusion doesn't have a shield. That, along with Sharp being close to his grab, I mean, we'll see what happens next. I assume it will be oh, and they burn our bombs too. This is actually still winnable for Envy, though. <clears throat> Would you agree? Would you commit to this fight? Uh, Envy, yeah, of yeah. course. Yeah. yeah, I mean, you're down one, but you've got Ults, and you have your Zarya, yeah. and you have your Zen. Those are the important yeah. ones. Ryan, Zarya, and Zen are the important ones. There's the Shatter. I don't know if you needed both, though. I think either Shatter or Grav would have been fine. So that was a little bit of a miscommunication. But it's not yeah. a huge deal. Yeah, it's not, it's not a big deal for solely the fact that it, it, yeah. it, it is probably the last fight. Yeah, so. yeah. Ensuring that you win that fight is fine. Yeah. Wait, wait, wait. I've got somebody in chat saying Chengsik actually used Shatter, not Fire Strike. You're right. No, no, he used Fire Strike. He shattered into the grab and then he Fire Strike afterwards. Yeah, that's a Fire Strike animation. Either way. Um, okay. I mean, if Fusion can't win this. Continually contested and our fusion university. This is their <clears> chance <throat> to try and attack this point. Gonna will they even be able to touch Bernard? Bernard will touch. There he is, got the Sire bubble over time. Okay, so Envy has positional advantage. Um, well, well, fusion does have trance. Um, yeah, 99% to zero. 
Oh, and that sounds like either it. Well, let's watch. Was that a boop or was that an actual kill? Yep, that was an actual kill. Beautiful <clears throat> Towards another Graviton surge. Bernard just trying to do his best as well to disrupt the back line. Sharp going in, absolute man mode. But and there's the boop. The boop onto nice. Chunks is going to go down as okay. well. Okay, well, now team that is seemed like more of like a, a comedy of errors in a lot of ways and how that played mm -hmm. out. <clears throat> that felt like bubbles being misused. We didn't see any good rallies. We saw shattering into Grav and then fire striking and then dying to that. Um, we saw people using ults but not actually like splitting with their aggression um anything like that I, mean, I just felt like a lot of errors on the sides of both teams and it just so happened that envy got the point cap first and then that was that anything yep. that you saw outside of that no i was say fusion envy and envy are probably like in overwatch league they would be like bottom five or something but you know in a good way in a good way that yeah. they are overwatch league tier but not great <clears throat> overwatch league teams yeah 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 i would agree with that I think especially when you have things like the Fusion University roster has been changed up. I don't think Fusion University has looked very strong this season as a whole. Any of the games that I've watched, the, the quality of NA contenders has dropped, I think, this season. Um, <clears throat> with a lot of the team's players being poached up. I would actually argue that the quality of Korean contenders has dropped as well. Um, I, I think like after reviewing some of the Doomfist Sombra from EM, which was a decent comp, just how much success they found with that was uh, kind of a, a telling tale of just how... Goats has been Korean. Um, and Envy as well. They've lost Trill. Trill is, they know they have Stan 1, who coincidentally is a stand in for their main tank now, um, now that Trill is with Dallas. So who knows how much that has an impact on the team quality. But, uh, okay. This is a very, I'm, I'm, the, the third person is not being very nice to us today. But this is a very interesting point. Very interesting first fight. Um, so it's basically the whole like whoever commits to the rotation first loses unless you find a way to make them back off space, right? So something I see a lot too is I see a lot of divas committing to playing in green here. Now, I have heard differing opinions on this. The whole concept is oh, divas here, like she can you know shoot the back of the rhine if they push if they push forward then she can rotate this way and shoot the back of the rhine but then i've also heard oh well you don't want diva here because she needs to be able to boost her boop or peel for her rhine what what is your opinion on like this fight this first fight because this is a really fun first fight what, what do you what on this map in particular yeah, it's pretty interesting because like uh overwatch league doesn't play in this op like first fight 99 percent of all overwatch league teams they they play like wait let me see where i can get a better angle yeah this angle is not good Oh, like this, like this. So 99% of the time, the Overwatch League teams play like this. Mm -hmm. So, okay, I, I was mistaken. I, I thought when you said they were going to rotate in, I thought they were actually going to rotate. But yeah, no. they, they actually spread it out across the point and fought through the entire area, which is more or less... Oh, fuck. What did I do? I oh, fucked it up somehow. Wait, where is it? I uh, three thirty. We are, I'm at three thirty one. Are you are you seeing this? Oh okay. Okay. Yeah. Okay. <clears throat> I accelerated to like icon wall or something. Mm -hmm. yeah, so. All right. So, so um, I'm, I'm yeah. curious. Like, so what is the benefit of playing against this side of point? And so it seems like teams were going here, but then you can't. If there is a diva in green, you can't hide your Rhine because the diva will just shoot your Rhine while he's trying to recharge shield. So then now we've got. Chengzik playing here trying to recharge shield because this is a hard wall and there's no diva there to shoot him is that is like what's the mentality behind playing away from point side uh the point point is just not a great place to be like mm -hmm. point yeah point point is just yeah chokes. if you rotate into point uh because the team that want to rotate into point let's say a team wants to rotate their strategy is to rotate from point a to point b mm -hmm. what is the other team going to do what's just, the best thing that they're, they're going to press w and cleave you know swing yeah six they're going to press w yeah. and cleave straight into yeah, it right yeah. so that's why neither team really wants to rotate uh because that's why early on the evolution of first fight in lijang went like this teams tried rotating in at some point in time during the fight and realized that you just get fucked because mm -hmm. a really good team will just cleave you and then you realize that you don't really want to rotate in but where are you gonna play them? So people started <laughs> like started fighting the fight out here first. Mm -hmm. And then once you win, then you rotate in. Right, yeah. right, right, that, right. It, that was the evolution of mm -hmm. like the first fight. 
fights, yeah. Okay, so looking at this fight in particular, um, <clears throat> you've got both Divas sticking in green. And like I said, that feel this feels like just a, a, dis a deterrent from playing here. So like looking at, um, who is it? Bernard here, okay? So Bernard seems to me, his job is to discourage Stan 1 from like recharging here. Because Stan 1's like, oh, damage is here. I'm going to move here. But then the diva's just like, uh, there's no hiding place. I'm going to stand here and I'm going to shoot you anyway. Um, interestingly enough, do you see where Ellie vote is? Uh -huh. I've never seen that before. Wait, wait, as in like... On uh, point. Diva playing on point? Like literally all the way on point. <laughs> That's strange. Um, okay. I don't, do, you, do you have any guess as to why he would do that? Uh, it's, a, it's just a good off angle. It's a good place for Alevo to play. Uh, I, I think there's nothing really special about it. It's just uh, enable them to get multiple angles in the fight. I guess so. This seems like quite quite a distance, though. Is... But, okay. Um, Stan 1 gets kind of... That's why, that's why Alevo is <clears throat> essentially like the best diva in contenders by quite a bit. Because he, he knows where to play, even if it's weird. The other divas, they, they stay with the, their, their enemy team all the time. And at most, they, they flank off to a place that's like obvious and off angle, which is which is good, which is which is not bad. But Alevo knows where to push uh, the boundary. He's, hmm. Yeah, it's a good off thing. Okay. All right. So the... Uh... Time. Changsik gets some swings in. They match bubble. Neither bubble's phenomenal, but at least there's a couple of swings. One, two, one. Fire strike. Elivo. Uh, Elivo is taking the one v one with Bernard. Can I just? Mm -hmm. Sorry, can I interrupt you? Yeah, probably? please, please. Spiller, sorry. To, I I know we're moving to the next point, but your uh your your Twitch audience was asking like, why is rotating early bad and. Maybe we didn't like explain it uh, concisely enough. Mainly is because say there's area A and B, right? Rotating in means that you have to your Zen and your Brick and your Lucio, all the vulnerable part of your enemy, will, all the vulnerable part of the team, will have to move from A to B. So you have to travel across this area. So if a team is going to rotate in, whatever the other team that's not going to rotate in, all they need to do is just hit them right as the Zen is rotating, right as the enemy team is rotating. Because a team is weakest when they're moving from point A and point B. A team is strongest when they have like foothold. Like they have high grounds to hold, they have covers, and they just stand their ground. That's when a team is strongest. That's why like teams right up hides behind the payload. That's why uh, people spread across and just, you know, just establish a foothold. But when you rotate, you're rotating, you don't have a foothold because your priority is movement over defensive capability. Mm -hmm. So... And the first team that moves in will get fucked by the enemy team hitting them as they are moving in. Hmm. Yeah. Okay. Thank you. Okay. <clears throat> um, so we can move on to the next no, one. No, Sorry for no, 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 please. Thank you. Um, so Divas dueling. Divas are dueling here. This is the LAG style of play. Um, hiding Ryan. Well, um, everyone, everyone plays this way. But yeah, I see what you mean. <laughs> <laughs> um, <clears throat> yeah, okay. Um, the, the good news about the diva dueling for Fusion University, and the reason mm -hmm. probably why Ellie vote had to be bullied out, is Chang Sik was able to hide himself while the divas were dueling, and Stan Wen was not. So that leaves, you know, you know, uh, Alarm can freely discord Ellie vote, um, or even just shoot Ellie vote without feeling like, oh, my Ryan's gonna get run over because their Ryan's like the their Ryan's hiding. Their Ryan doesn't isn't taking any damage, right? So that means that they can yep. focus on the off tanks and the off angles, right? They bully them out, yep. and then Stan One has nowhere to hide. All right. So. Yep. Essentially. Yeah, you just it's just there's no reason to force this. I, I don't I don't like this from Cheng Sik. Like this bubble is like look at this bubble. This bubble's just yeah, it's a it's a really bad bubble. It's atrocious. That's 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 surprising. I don't, and, and and it's yeah. strange too because it feels like they're commit and, and this is the problem. So um like looking at like where's Snillo? Like why is he's not in any position to get inspire procced? Um he's not in a position to, to shield bash. Um you know, Bernard, now the problem is Bernard has control of this, right? But this area is no longer, like, the Fusion University is not playing for this area anymore. They're moving past it. So Envy doesn't give a rip if Bernard is in here. It doesn't matter, you know, because because uh, Fusion is not playing around here. So this this area no longer has any value. They're, they're, so, like, looking at Elivote, Elivote now is providing more value to his team than Bernard is. 
Um, and that's yeah, simply uh, and that's. But now I think of here is like com- it's just it's a shit. It's it's completely shit. It's like, it's it's useless. Move here to be, yeah. uh, like he you move here to be useful, but then he'll take like valuable right. time. To not take valuable time, he could <clears throat> fly here, but then right. he will have to use boost. It's yeah, just right. a shit. And, and so, and I'm I'm not even convinced it's Bernard's fault because Bernard has they've bullied you know uh, Elevote out of this position instead of taking advantage of the map control that they had. They then pushed it, but Bernard is still sitting on the map control he's got. I mean, he even has Harmony Orb. Um, so not only is this a bad bubble, this is just a bad play. Snillo looks like, like Snillo's nowhere near to be seen. Um, Bernard is holding a position that is meaningless with Harmony Orb. This is a bad projected bubble. And now Envy, yeah, they got bullied out of map control, but they're all doing the same thing, right? They're uh, all, yeah. And, and Can I rewind just to please. check like how it went into this moment? Yeah. Mm-hmm. Please. So Ellie Boat gets bullied out. Sort of. No, actually, Ellie Boat comes back. But either way, like, map control has been claimed by Fusion, but they don't do anything with it. They, they force their hand. It's actually Snilo's fault, actually. But now it's fine. But not position right now. Mm-hmm. Because but I can't push in too much, because he doesn't want, like, the enemy need to push him so yep. he will want to stay in around this position until mm-hmm. his team pushes up then he he push up to pencil so but not can stay where he is or he can play around this area yeah. it's not so yeah bad. what i was saying is like but, fusion yeah. has this point like bernard is fine like this is fine the problem is this when bernard is here and then fusion just decides to run all the way over here and like you said, so, still, sorry, can you repeat that again? I, I'm saying Bernard, they have done a good job of getting Bernard in a good position, bowling Ellie mm-hmm. Vote out. But now Bernard is still here, and then Cheng Sik is acting like he's got a diva with him or a brig with him. And now he's running in here. And then that Bernard being here doesn't help this location, right? It only helps this location. Um, so when you push past that, now you're kind of taking a 5v6, especially with, I'm sure, what you're going to say about Snillo's positioning. Snillo's not doing anything right now. Yeah, I'll, I'll say that right now Chansik doesn't need to push, right? Right, right now Chansik right. can hold his position. Uh, Snilo just like right here. Then the very next step for the ne- very next player is Snilo. The most important thing is Snilo needs to push up here because mm-hmm. Bernal still has some value, right? Mm-hmm. His value is that he get he gets to pressure the Diva, he gets to pressure the Zaya. He has some value playing here. He also gets the defensive matrix to the left side of the point. Uh, in, in many times like when we analyze like like high level measures at least uh you you put yourself in the scenario so if you think of, of yourself as like the diva right now mm-hmm. and if we all think as like your audience all of us like right now both of us and your audience as well so let's let's think that we are banana right now so we think of banana are you getting value you are actually getting value because mm-hmm. you're actually hitting them from a separate angle you have like a threat right here mm-hmm. and you get like i mentioned you get the defensive matrix you get to ex- you get to fly to your right really easily mm-hmm. the people who 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 right here has no value whatsoever. Does Chansik have value? He does have value as well because he's controlling this area, right? Mm-hmm. If Chansik's position is right here, then he gives up all this area. Mm-hmm. So just because Ryan is doing nothing, uh, doesn't mean he's not getting value. Right. Where Ryan stands controls the area around him. So he's controlling this area. Bernard is controlling this area. And uh, Kaka is, trying, uh, is playing here because he can speed boost mm-hmm. these two players in. Nice is playing behind the Ryan shield. Mm-hmm. Near cover, Alam is playing my main. Who is the guy who is completely useless here? It's, it's Neil. Mm-hmm. So, so it's Neil next step is to make sure he's useful. It's kind of weird, but he has to make sure he's useful, right? Yep. That's why you have constant rotation. So Snilo right now, he needs to rotate in. He yep. needs, he'll probably needs to get an AWP from Alam. So uh, Snilo gets an AWP or something, or, or just play up with shield and then he moves into mm-hmm. this cover mm-hmm. so he, they can prepare to make the push across. Uh, with Bernard. So we can just see what happens next. Okay. okay, so Snilo is actually, yeah, Snilo is actually making a mistake. Snilo is rotating this way. And I think this is, is a very severe mistake. Like, so Snilo is the one that's screwing up. It sounds weird saying someone is screwing up before they die. It sounds weird saying someone is screwing up uh, even though it's that they have not actually done anything. But the very fact they have not done anything is a major mistake in top level gameplay. Yep. So yep. these players are doing the right thing. They are pushing uh, because Envy is in a, uh, uh, you know, unenviable position mm. uh, no no pun intended but yeah they're in a bad position right yeah, they're in yeah. in a very small area this is where you want to start pressuring mm. but now nah, right now actually can push up it's, it's a decent position he can even uh, defensive matrix and then maybe uh, yeah I don't know exactly he could defensive matrix uh, shoot them then use the rest of his defensive matrix to drop down to and then continue poking from like this position mm. while he can yeah where he has cover the main thing is just Snilo is not in the fight Snilo needs to be needs to have rotated here then push out here so Mechanically speaking, Snilo is in the wrong position, but then I'm not sure Fusion University probably should not have 
mm, this is mm. an interesting point. But Snilo, uh, uh, sorry, Snilo University. Chansey shouldn't <laughs> have pushed, but I can see why they pushed. Like they yeah. pushed because it's yeah. the right play to push. They did not know Snilo was like doing nothing. Yeah. <laughs> so it's kind of harsh, yeah. but Snilo is doing nothing. Yeah. They did not know that. They made the correct play. But now it's making the correct play. Alam is more or less making the correct play. Snilo is not. So not it's really gonna really be a yeah, it's going to be very awkward because Chansey is going to be sort of in so, there alone. He's right, right. but he's late to the right. fight. The bubble's wow. late, Snello gets there late. Bernard is... his yeah. Bernard's positioning is no longer useful. I, I can't really see where he is. Okay, so Bernard is good. Bernard's, Bernard's, Bernard's actually good decent. Now. Yeah, Bernard's he, good now. Yeah. Um, because, yeah, like, like we mentioned, his position here is necessary. His position here allows him access to the position here. Mm -hmm. uh, position here that will allow him access to the enemy. The only reason why he's not in this position, like, the only reason why he's not in this position at the start is because it's too dangerous. Mm -hmm. It's too dangerous because there are too many enemy team right here. That's why his position here. It's actually not a bad position. Mm -hmm. At least, I, I thought it was bad at first, but looking at it, uh, look, uh, looking at it through context, because I, that's why I have to rewind back, it's actually not a good, bad position. It, mm -hmm. it, it's a good position, mm -hmm. even. Yeah, it's actually Snilo not rotating, making the team weak. Yep. By, and I, um, I don't know that he has Inspire proc either, which means that they're going to start yeah, they're that's gonna a start, they're gonna start falling behind an HP. Yeah, very very good. Very good points. Inspire, you need to start proccing Inspire as soon as possible. Snilo is not really doing that from his position. <clears throat> okay. Yeah. So, I can continue past that. Yep, Sorry about that. Yep, no problem. No problem. It's a little bit too much damage. So no, Changsik no, a little no, overextends. No, Snilo is out of position. Um, oh, bubble wasn't great. And that's that. So they're going to try and rotate the point because that's about all they have at the moment. Alarm's going to try and go for a play. They get isolated. Snilo tries to help. Doesn't matter. I mean, Alarm went for a play there. Like, to, at that point, it's like you might as well because that's like the only that's the only way you win that fight is maybe if Alarm pops off and kills two. Um, but, yeah. Fusion gets capped, though. Maybe they'll get 5%. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. So, like, yeah, Jaru is at 90%. Yeah. Snilo... Very far cry because he wasn't really doing much in that fight, yeah. right? So here, here we come to like a very interesting and entertaining part of goats, right? And I, I think it's more helpful to coaches than audience, but it might be still like interesting to know. Uh, the hard part about coaching goats, goats is not about knowing the combos, knowing when to Zaya bubble. All those are easy to learn. How do you learn them? Just just watch an yep. uh, an Overwatch League game. Just watch a contenders game. If you are an open D, you can watch a contenders game. Or yeah, you can just watch Overwatch League game. Watch Titans and Shock Grand Finals. You can see all the the perfect bubbles and and stuff like that. So it's easy to learn how to bubble. It's, it's even easy to know what your graph is for. It's even easy to learn like what you're supposed to use. Diva bomb for, you can just watch and copy people. What's really, really hard to master in GOATS is finding out the mistakes that are not ultimate and cooldown based. Mm -hmm. So mistakes like positioning. Mm -hmm. Like Ch if Chansik makes an excellent play, he sees, uh, uh, hypothetically, Chansik sees like a perfect opportunity. Like this is fucking 10 out of 10. Mm -hmm. If you go in, if there are every one else, five other people uh, goes in with him, he wins. Like, or not goes in with him, but five other people play their role. Like play perfectly, they, he wins. But as long as one person fucks this up, yeah. as long as one person doesn't play, like just not like one person doesn't play at the correct position, Chansey could go in at the correct time and he, and he would die mm -hmm. because someone is not doing the correct thing. And that's that's how crazy goats is. If someone is not doing the correct thing, you die. It's not like previous meta, last year meta, you know, watch League meta where you have like Widow and Tracer, right? <laughs> if your Zen isn't doing the correct thing, it doesn't matter if your Tracer and Winston gets a perfect dive and mm. kill two people. It doesn't matter if your Zen missed like 20 shots in a row or is a bronze Zen. It doesn't really matter. They are, yeah. They are, yeah, it's it's fine. But when you're playing goats and one person doesn't uh, influence the fight in some way he's not doing correctly, you lose. And the worst thing, it's actually very hard to see that mistake unless you have like a lot of uh, a lot of experience. It is. Yeah, it was something when yeah, it's it it's is. it's just very very hard to find. Uh, it's just very very hard to find these mistakes. It was one of the things where like when Overwatch League teams trial their coaches right now, or when academic team trials their coaches, it's one of the things they look out for. Not about whether you know how to grab or know how to bubble. That's that's very obvious, right? How to grab and how to bubble. You can just copy the Overwatch League and know the correct play. The difficulty is finding the mistakes in positioning, finding when this diva can uh, uh, flank, finding out where, whether this Lucio should speed M right here, whether this Ryan should push out a little bit more or hold huge. Like all these small little my, minute mechanical thing is what separates like mm -hmm. like someone with like like who knows his stuff and someone who only knows like all oh, right he can, he grabs here he he sounds very here. Yep. It, it's for budding coaches out there that maybe or even for uh, players that wants to improve, right? If you're a player that wants to improve, mechanics is really, really important in goals. Mm -hmm. If you're a coach that wants to improve, knowing how to, knowing wrong mechanics is important, not just the ultimate. Yeah, mm -hmm. sorry. No, no, no. Good, thank you. Thank you. Okay, so Fusion clearly loses this and then uh, we will see what happens. 
They were able to rotate rather fast, but Team Envy are going to make oh, sure... Oh, no, Bernard just, just jumps off. Okay. Knock off there onto Bernard as he reset himself, so a little bit of bonus ultimate charge in that count. And we asked Dave Fox when he was on the couch, who was going to Okay, so now Tsuru is the first to rally, and that is always a very, very, very good ult to get first. Okay, so I, I, I want to talk about this really quickly because this is something I mentioned earlier. A lot of contenders teams, and we'll see if Fusion chooses to do this, a lot of teams will come here mm -hmm. and then they will path here and then they will drop. Mm -hmm. This is a mistake because similar to why you said going white first is not a mis is not great because you have nowhere to back up to. If you drop here, you commit to the fight. Even if you leave your Zen on high ground, you leave your Zarya on high ground, whatever. Your Ryan Brig, whoever drops, has nowhere to hide, nowhere to back off. And they, they can run in and they will kill you the second you drop. Good teams will. If they're playing on courtyard, the better rotate first fight scenario in, in retake. So like as in they're retaking here, and they're good teams should not drop here unless the unless envy is sitting on point. Um, and like I said, the reasoning for that is is because whoever drops off of here has nowhere to go. They have nowhere to S key or back off. Simply rotating around here, dropping here, you can back off this way. It's not much. But it's enough to be able to, like, I have simply, I mean, we've seen in teams that are holding, like, aggressively, like Envy. If Fusion wraps around this side and drops here, a lot of times Envy, like, teams will, in, in, in Envy's situation, will just back off and go to point. Because they know that they can't aggress if Envy, or it's harder to aggress if University drops off here rather than here. Just because here you have places to esky you could drop your rhine you could back up your core can back up like here it's like you have nowhere you like here anyway you have nowhere to drop or back off so we'll see where fusion drops uh, can, can i just mm -hmm. talk, talk a little bit about this please i hmm. I, I i don't know i i actually disagree with all that part okay. like i don't i think dropping here is actually a decent play like okay, it's not a great play, but that's only it's only a dis, it's only a decent play because the other two chokes are very very bad. Mm -hmm. Yeah, uh, I'm not saying I'm saying is in not going through this way. I'm saying going wrapping around to the other high ground. So let me see. You mean like this way, right? Yeah, yeah, like this way, like this way. I've never seen a team drop this way, but I, 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 but that that doesn't mean it's bad. I'm trying to think why it's bad because most teams drop this way. <clears throat> I don't know why like, I have to think about this a little. I have to think about why this is not the best place because I, I I I remember thinking about this before, but I can't remember. Now, Shock did yeah. something. Shock did something. Shock actually dropped their so that Shock was at an ultimate advantage um against the Titans in finals, and they and they dropped their core here. The Titans aggressed, and then the Shock ulted and killed uh Bumper. Like they, they baited by dropping off here. Um, but out, outside of that, I'm, I'm not not a big fan of dropping here. But that's that's my experience. So, I mean, obviously, others will have their opinions as well. I'll be curious to see what Fusion chooses to do and and what Envy does. So Envy doesn't push. Um, there's a protected bubble. Here comes the rally. There's a bash shatter. And our Stan one could just control the fight. Alarm using that transcendence could be disastrous for them in the next one. Sharp has 80% towards another grab, and if you win this next fight, so trans committed from alarm. Um, understandable, but unfortunately, the fight's still lost. Now try and counter out nice gravity on surge. Sharp's gonna get his soon. What are they gonna do about it? Kaka still 30% away from his ultimate, and alarm still needs to build it up all over again. Now. University, we need to make themselves so you can kind of see it here. Let's see it here. Hang on. So they're not dropping, but they're splitting. So there are. I'm trying to see who is on the opposite high ground there. Is it okay? So it's it's Bernard, Bernard and Brig, I think, or just Bernard. So you've got Bernard over here. Do about it. Kaka still 30% away from his ultimate, and Alarm still needs to build it up all over again. Now. And so they, they before dropping, I assume that they're trying to bully Envy back. You see what I'm saying? They're spamming Envy back, mm -hmm. and then they drop. They don't drop before they bully them out. So they utilize their high ground advantage first, and then they drop. Yeah. That seems to make sense. 
Yeah, okay. what, what Envy does right now, eh, sorry, what Envy, blah, what Fusion does right now is more or less, yeah, textbook play. You you leave the Zen on the high ground, you, you take cover, because mm -hmm. you, you do have cover right here, like mm -hmm. here, you have cover right here, and you have cover right here, mm -hmm. so you can always like take cover, mm -hmm. reach out, poke. Take cover, reach out, poke. The enemy team doesn't have cover at all because the mm -hmm. the only cover they have is like this this thing, and mm -hmm. it's a shit cover. And mm -hmm. if you use this cover and you use this cover, if you use the covers available to you, what happens is you are you are no longer able to threatening you are no longer able to threaten them when they when mm -hmm. they drop. Yeah, mm -hmm. just I just I just keep on thinking like why don't team move this way? So I've never seen the team does it, but there must be a reason for it. I, just, I, I think like I'm I'm mostly talking about the Rhine in particular. I think the Rhine and Brig in particular. Like, again, like you said, you don't have to really drop your Zen or Zarya. There's no one rush. Like, Zarya here is really powerful. Um, but from what I have, from what I believe, from what I thought, Rhinebrig dropping here is, makes a little bit more sense if if they're not backing off. If you're able to spam them out, back off, then yeah, it doesn't matter. But that's just that's just my thought. Um, I am curious to see what Fusion's plan is here. So, because this is an atrocious bubble again. Um, what's Envy going to do? They're not going to push. So we'll grab Zarya, and that's, that's a death. There's a personal bubble isolate play. So he personal bubbles and walks into this chat. You guys remember talking about this? And boing, he's dead. Ooh, the uh, <laughs> Chinksick just goes in, doesn't he? he? Oh, he gets booped. He gets booped. Chinksick gets booped on the pin. Watch this. So he's looking to boop him or charge him into here, I think. And I think it's Jaru. Jaru? Yeah. Or, no, 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 no. It's... um. Fire. So fire actually poops Chengzik, <laughs> and he goes yeah. off. He's off to the races. <laughs> they do cover his pen with a beat, so he should die. Yeah, he should die. Yeah. Wait, who won this? Who won this game in the end? Envy is actually playing very well. I don't know who won. I know Envy won, won a map, but I don't know who was who it was. Gotta check that. Yeah, I see. Because when it comes to pure goods play, Envy is actually Envy looks slightly better uh, overall. They, yeah, like their main thing isn't play, like Stan One isn't playing as well as Chansek. Uh, maybe because he's new, but mm -hmm. and like Crimson, I think Alam is just yeah objectively better there because Alam is just insane. Yeah. Uh. Yeah. Okay. So now but, interesting here. So uh, they are rotating through here. Now, you can stuff this choke, but stuffing this choke means that you have to scout it. So you have to scout that they're going here. If you, if you don't scout it, then you have to back off. So I'm trying to see where is Bernard? Because that should be what Bernard... I don't know if Bernard was capping. No, Bernard's, on, Bernard's here. Bernard is not scouting. Bernard's not anywhere. Bernard's just sitting behind shield. took him out of the effective area. Yeah, so this, I, I see this as a mistake from Fusion. What do you think? Hmm. Yeah, like but I can scout. Should scout. Yeah, like if you're looking to hold aggressively here, like if you're looking to hold out in courtyard, then whether it's here or here or here, you need to know which one of those three needs to be, and and they're yeah. not scouting. Transcendence meaning the healing couldn't be delivered, so Kukar could pile on, give the healing that was needed for everyone to just rush into stand one and keep on fighting until he dropped. Now, if you what do you think about holding at this choke here? I've seen some coaches say that you should hold here, soft hold here, and then you can fall oh, back. Oh, that's interesting. Yeah. And then you can fall they're, back they're, to point and then sorry. have a second choke. You know what I'm saying? So, like, you can hold at two chokes. Yeah. This was actually created by, uh, I think, Guangzhou Charge. I think they were the first team that did it in, like, very, very early in stage one or something. Or maybe it was done earlier, but mm -hmm. yeah, but they were the first few teams that showed it on official Overwatch League match. Now, they might be in screams. People might already been trying this in screams. I'm sure it's not the first time they do, did it. But. Yeah, the soft hole is is an option. Yes, it's a viable mm -hmm. option. And if mm -hmm. you ask different coaches, then you'll get different answers mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Uh, in Overwatch League, whether that's like the best option or whether going to point is the best option. Mm -hmm. Yeah, it, it is an option though. Mm -hmm. I think the idea is like, it's not the best choke, but if you hold here, then maybe you can hold on point too. So you can kind of like force them to aggressively Slow rally. It, then yeah. You, yeah, and you kite back to point. <laughs> what is Silo doing? Oh man, Silo is... 
Phil is giving a lesson in how to be out of position. Yeah, sorry? I was just saying I was laughing at Snillo's positioning here. He's he's not really going to get punished for it, but... um, Like, like Snillo, Snillo's... And you can't quite see him, but that's his silhouette, like, right there. Yeah. He is... Uh, it was needed for everyone to just rush into stand one and keep Alrighty. fighting until he dropped. So, like, looking at bolts here, um, Fusion has Trance, Rally, Shatter, Bomb. Envy has basically five ults because they're going to get the, they're going to, or six ults because they're going to get all six within the next probably 15 seconds or so. Um, if you're Envy, I think obviously you're, you're going to try and look to use your grav. Fusion University will probably be forced to Trance, Bomb, Counter depending on if that's how they normally counter grab. That's how Overwatch League teams counter. I don't know if that's what they do. Um, and then afterwards, Envy can then either Sound Barrier or Rally in aggressively, at which point they will have their Shatter. Um, yeah. How, how would you play this if you're Envy? Here? Yeah, that, that, that was uh, more or less what, what they should be doing. So they grab. Uh, probably bomb to counter trans uh, to to survive, and then envy would, uh, yeah, envy would probably use yeah. Yeah, sound barrier. I think they they won't use rally because they should use rally right now. I think I think they could just eh, doesn't really matter. Yeah, rally they could they could they could they have multi op options mm -hmm. available to them. They could use rally right now to push mm -hmm. uh, fusion university, but they do have the graviton search, mm -hmm. so they might just. Graph and rally, or they might just graph. They see an opportunity yep. without needing to rally. Yep. The rally, rally is interesting because you can insert it anywhere and it's still sort of fine. Yep. Yeah, yep. It's a very flexible ult. And now it's interesting yeah. to note here. Good to note that Fusion University is backing. Okay, so this is something that we need to talk about. So talking about fighting at this choke and this choke, a something that I was ignoring and I didn't pay attention to, is Fusion obviously tracks that Envy has grab and they don't. So they need to. They have to play on point here. I think. I don't think I don't yeah. think you want you can't get grabbed on a corner here. Um, that would be bad. So that's they seem to be uh, as long as there's only one or one person yeah. grab at a corner, it, it's fine. Yeah, yeah you, you don't you want all six people grab at a corner. Right, right. All this is a different style to what Envy did. We don't want to hold for chokes instead. It's all about playing around on the point with the ultimates that they have. Look at how many else they do. There is the rally. They match the rally. Kind of. Let's try an aggressive bomb. Wait, did the bomb get bubbled or something? Uh, oh, I think I, I think it didn't. I, I thought I saw the bomb got bubbled. It, it, no, no, no. It, it, it does look like that, doesn't it? Zarya is like stuck right yeah. in the middle there. Um, There's actually one one fight we had, like LA Gladiators. I remember very clearly. Like we actually lost one vital fight that might have won the series. I can't remember in stage two because Void Bomb got bubbled, and that uh, bubble was something that we had to no. So, so you... it, it's pretty vital. It's kind of funny when it happens, but it's yeah, vital. it's it's funny. But you can laugh about it after it happens. <laughs> yeah, you can laugh not, not when it happens. Um, yeah. Okay, so I'm trying to think what I think about this bomb engage. Um, trying to think. I mean, bomb is fine here. It just doesn't really look like Envy's in a good chip position to really punish this very hard. You, you see, like, like that wasn't, like, yes, they got map control, but this bomb feels a little early. Um, Fusion University had clearly kind of given up this choke here, um, and so Envy didn't really need the bomb to clear past here. They were already walking through with their own rally. Fusion matches it, but they're already through, and then they bomb. The problem with this bomb is, like, if I were to draw a square here, this is point... Fusion University is now here, right? And the bomb is here. Like, you want the bomb to be in the smack dab in the middle. This, so this bomb is going to be pretty easy to deal with. Shouldn't get any kills. Yeah. The, bomb, the bomb is really just to... It, it shouldn't get any kills, but... It's kind of... Okay, so let, let's go back to the start of mm -hmm. this fight, right? So they have a couple... Mm -hmm. In a perfect world, what Envy is going to... Should just do in a perfect world, they just want to grab... Mm -hmm. And then Transic, so they use Graph. The sequence is they Graph first. Mm -hmm. uh, Fusion University use Bomb and uh, Trans to counter. Mm -hmm. And then Envy use maybe Rally to try to win the fight. Mm -hmm. Maybe Fusion University use Rally to try to counter it. And then uh, at, at some point somewhere, you use your Sound Barrier and then you try to win. And then yeah, yeah you win it after. And then it'll be expensive for both teams. That's mm -hmm. what Envy wants, right? Mm -hmm. They want to sequence it. But uh, they instead... We, the sequence started off with using a single graph, but is that easy to do? It no. might not be easy to do because they actually, it's hard to just throw a graph in, it'll just get eaten. So they need, 
tempo, they need momentum, right? They need the enemy team to back out, and as they back out, he tries to, to find an opportunity mm-hmm. to grab. Mm-hmm. So what ultimate here can you use to make your to give a Zaya an easier time to get the grab? Right, right. The the bomb. So of course. There's two outs, right? The okay. bomb or the rally. You mm-hmm. could use either one of them. You don't want to use both of them. Because it's one is enough to buy you space and momentum. You don't need to use two. It's kind of a little bit higher level stuff. Yeah, like yeah. It's, yeah. I, you know I, I, mean? like, I think it confuses me is like the rally is used. They do. Let me see here. So rally yeah. is used. They're yeah. Then they use ball. Then they use graph. Yeah. Yeah. You don't need. You it's don't need. Very wasteful. This, this for super yeah. inefficient. And if nothing else, if you want to combo, if you want to rally and bomb, that's fine. But remember, we like I talked about it earlier. Good teams don't combo. They chain rally and bomb yeah. were used yeah. at the same time and they accomplished the same thing it's like this team yeah. like fusion, exactly like you said yeah. right fusion's it, going to give to up change. the space anyway because of the rally right so why why would you bomb why would you bomb yeah like if they really wanted to bomb they could have done it after the grab so they could have rally in mm-hmm. uh use your graviton then use your combo which is yeah. still i know i know combo isn't that great but you could still use your bomb yeah. after the grab it would at least be better than bombing first then grabbing well, later yeah, it yeah, makes no and, sense and combos combo would be fine because yeah. Yeah, combo wouldn't be the end of the world either because they can't counter grab it as well. So um Okay. So yeah, that that's just seems so waste. The only way this works is if the, the bomb can break shield so that night stand, excuse me, can hit a shatter. Um Weird man, this is uh this is this is messy. So they sh- they 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 grab Fusion will now trance. They will also counter bomb to prevent, I guess, the pin. And fire also sound barriers. Why does fire sound barrier? Okay, uh, because they, they just want to win the fight. Like Envy, right now it just feel Envy has no plan. Right now they're just jamming ultimates to win the fight. Yeah. Fusion, however, has a plan, so Fusion should win. But anyway, when it comes to goals, there's variants. But yeah. Fusion should win this. Yeah. Wait, actually, well, Envy has more out, so yeah. But Fusion is playing it more efficiently. Fu- Fusion, yeah, yeah, yeah. Fusion played this one much better than Envy did. Like they, yeah. they, they are, they'll probably lose because of the trance, but I, like Five. this is this is much much better played from Fusion side. Yeah. Yeah. So they force. What do they force? They force grav. They force rally. They force beat. They force bomb. Yeah. They force they, shatter. They win the next fight easy. Yeah. Like, that's fusion. That's five volts. Fight easy because- five volts. Yeah. So fusion next fight right. Even though they use five volts, that's really bad. So mm-hmm. next fight, all fusion needs to do is mm-hmm. grav, then pin someone, and you win yep. straight up. Yeah. You, you win the fight. Yeah. The end. Yep. And they've in and, and like in terms of point percentage here, this fight is taking a long time. If they didn't if they didn't give up bomb just now, then if Fusion University grab here, they have a fighting chance because they can trans and bomb, which is the standard combo. Uh not standard combo, but the standard mm-hmm. yeah, reaction. Yeah, yeah. But they don't have bomb anymore, no, so they no, can no, only no, trans no, and that means yeah. you get fucked by the pin. Yeah, the, the the bomb was I think there to to make sure that they couldn't pin into the, they survived, the grab. Yeah. yeah, and then it forced the beat as well. Well it didn't really force the beat. They didn't really need the beat, but yeah, it, it probably caused yeah. the beat to so happen. The only way Fusion loses this is if nice shit a bit or Envy like makes a pick by I don't know Crimson yep. King five balls or something. It is worth noting that Sharp is close to Grav, so that would also be an issue. Um, because you you know you get grabbed, you can't you can counter Grav, and then you can push in afterwards and then trance if necessary. We will see. It's just unfortunate because Fusion, like you said, did play that one better than Envy did, one hundred percent. Fusion University, we're gonna have to fight two for now for every step they take forward, and five seconds from now, point's gonna complete. Let's have the grab though. Okay, so up oh, there it is. Okay, so let me see here. Bernard is dueling Ellie vote, which is interesting. Um, Snillo drops. Seconds from now, point's gonna complete. Okay. Let's have the grab though. And here comes the eight. Low and and that's it. <laughs> that's yeah. uh, that's pretty much it. I, I, is 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 in, is fusion even gonna be able so to? So no, I forgot. There was another option where your know, grab just gets eaten. Yeah. yeah. So that's that's a pause here. Sorry. Yeah, please. Uh, so we can uh, uh, answer one of chat's question. Uh, one one person said like one of your audi- uh, viewers asked 
insert BT name, I was like, is really bomb engage bad? Mm. And uh, it, it's not it's not bad. It's just that you already have graph, right? Your win condition is graviton search. So you don't really need to like rally engage is rally engage rally bomb is a win condition. It's a way you can win a fight because you can rally and push aggressively and bomb to make sure that they they don't they don't move where you want them to. You isolate them, right? So rally engage, rally bomb is a win condition. Mm-hmm. However, graviton search is another win condition. So you don't need to use two win conditions because it's very expensive. And even if you want to use either rally or bomb to help you get the graviton search, which is the second scenario you're talking about, you don't need to use both to help your graviton search. So right now, it's neither here nor there. It's like mm-hmm. a mix of two win conditions. And yeah, you guys, yeah. yeah you, just, you, just have, it, you just have to you ask yourself, like, what are you trying to accomplish with this ultimate? We're trying to get space so that we can look for our graph. If that's the case, Diva Bomb will do the job or Rally will do the job. If you do both, you don't do the job twice as well. You basically just do the same job twice and, and, and they're yeah. both. Like, they're going to kite the Rally, they're going to kite the Bomb. So why are you using both? I mean, Sh- Shadow Dragon, you're, you're right. As in, like, both outs do the same thing, right? It's just that there, you, there is two concepts here. The first concept is there's two win cons. You don't need to use two both of them. The, but the second concept is kind of an extension. Uh, even if you want to use one to help you graph, you don't need to use both to help you graph. Mm-hmm. You know what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. So, yeah, there's two separate concepts. The one of understanding that they are win cons and you don't need to use two win cons. But that's slightly separate, but kind of related by saying that even if you want to use one out of the two of them, you shouldn't use both. Mm-hmm. Even if you want to use one to buy space mm-hmm. for the crap. Mm-hmm. Yeah. It's also worth noting that the rally bomb execution was poor. The bomb was used too early. Yeah, like, the rally bomb execution they, was poor. They, yeah. they were so able that's to... Like another, that's another concept. Yeah. Sef- exclusive, uh, yeah. yeah. But yeah, you, you guys get yeah. yeah, we can move on. Sorry. Okay, yeah, no problem. Okay, so well played. And Ellie vote side, they can now, now that the grab's eaten, you know, Crimzo can just press Q and, you know, not just use it for sustain. As long as he has a Discord up, which hopefully he does. But then, the Ellie vote, you mother. Oh, sorry. Yeah. <laughs> Very well played by Ellie vote. Very well Almost played. Custom. Very well played. Now, interesting. How does. We have a trance. We just had a trance. Yeah, so Stan is out of position. Stan is 100% out of position. Team is rotating the point, and Stan is just... Yeah, Stan is... <laughs> He's playing a different game from his team, but yeah, yeah I understand it because he was a few in, right? He was a new tank mm-hmm. ball, and he, I'm sure they haven't been oh. screaming for <laughs> Well, uh, Fusion Unity is going to drag this one out. Yeah, stand one feeding means yep. fusion if he gets the shadow. That was if he shattered shield and then fed. Yeah. Mm. All right. Everyone got some. <laughs> Everyone still got some improvement to be doing. All right. So we are uh, last fight situation here. Um, they've probably tracked bomb. I, I if I'm Fusion University here. Um, Try and claim the entirety of Lijon Tower and team I think you. I think you try and play. So you play point, right? Because you want to make sure that this is last fight and there's no touches. So I think like once they get to point, it's last fight. I think if you're Fusion University here, you try and build your bomb, and then when they bomb, you can survive their bomb with your own barrier, and then just counter bomb and then run them over. Which you should have bomb at that point. I don't think there's going to be any other ults on the table by the time that bomb comes up. Yeah. Right now, when both teams are... This, this is like one of the rare parts of GOATS, right? There's only two times in GOATS where you have very little ultimates. Most of the time, half the time, you either have a trance or a grab or yeah. something like a couple of fouls, like two or three fouls. But once in a while, in the first fight, and sometimes in some exceptional case, like in this case, both teams have only one out and they are arguably not close to any other outs. Mm-hmm. Right? Maybe mm-hmm. maybe Bernard's this will be a so, This will be a fun yeah. fight to watch. I'm curious. Yeah, this is like a first fight all over again. Yeah, yeah. I'll be curious to see if Fusion tries to run into the bomb or hide from the bomb. With the run, barrier. Definitely run into it if they, if they do the correct play. Run, run, somebody run, run, run. Okay, they did the wrong play. GG's. Yeah. Um, yeah, I, I think, I think Ch- Cheng, Cheng Sik was very low going into this fight as well. I don't know if he ate a five ball or. So Cheng Sik is taking a lot of damage. Yeah, it doesn't He's... matter. You try to team and you sound better and you push out anyway. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 
I'm saying like if you're looking to aggressively push in, then your positioning right now isn't very good. Um, you would want to be here, they bomb engage, and then you can immediately just break LOS. What's, what happened, it looks like Changsik took a lot of damage, so he backed away from choke. And then the second he backed away from choke, it made pushing in aggressively into the bomb harder to do um, because the distance, right? So it's, it's like, if Changsik can hold this right here, then we're going to be fine, right? But Changsik gets... Chengzi gets, gets chunked. <laughs> he takes a lot of damage, and that seems to make him like you can see he's his body language here. He's backing off because he's so low, right? And because uh, it, it, I think it's a good play that Chansik's not playing close though. Like I'm just going to back off a little. Like Chansik, the best place for a rank to hold. We've talked about it before. Is like here, mm -hmm. right? So the enemy team is your whole team is playing here. Yeah. You hold here. The enemy team tries to push in. You just. Your team fucks them, your rank just goes out and swings, that yep. sort of stuff. But yeah. they don't really have that option because uh, they don't have any support outs. Oh, they do have one, but yeah. the, the, let, let's see how this works out, right? They have one, but they don't have multiple. Uh, let, let's see how this works okay. out. So Transic stands here, everyone stands here. Uh, Envy bombs in. Uh, Envy bombs in. Kakas tries to sound barrier because he wants to sound barrier and push out. He, Chansik has a chance of getting insta git before the sound barrier takes place gotcha. if he stands right here. Gotcha. So Chansik has to play like somewhere like here. He has to play really carefully because the weakness to like if you bomb and use sound barrier and rush them, this is stronger than this. Like sound barrier rushing is will counter a diva bomb rush. Mm -hmm. However, there is a there is a weakness. The weakness is the animation time for the sound barrier and Lucio needing to like react. So bomb takes place. Uh, Lucio goes, hey, there's a bomb. They're bomb rushing us. I'm going to sound barrier. Boom, the Raihat dies. Yeah, like, that happens yeah. a lot in like yeah. high-level play, yeah. which is why Chansey is playing a little bit more cautiously, uh, which is what he has to do, but yeah, it just can't be helped, I guess. Okay, yeah. unfortunate either way. So Chengsik is yeah. low. Regardless, Fusion backs off. Maybe, maybe Bernard could have eaten that Fire Strike. The Fire Strike took him to like 100 HP. Okay, so right now, Fusion has to bully themselves on the point, and they should win this with Bump. Now taking position against Chunks. Ha yeah, they should win this. Yeah. Can we watch that again? Does that sing whether Stan 1 could have, wondering whether Stan 1 could have survived? Yeah, he could have survived. Yeah. Stan 1's feeding, uh, yeah, so. You see, he sure he's 2,000 health. He tries to fire strike, he lost all the other health. Yeah, that's a big thing. He yeah. have, uh, was it? Fire, strike have is, strike. fire strike is a dangerous skill. Yeah, if he had health shield, Crimson would have had Trance, yeah. and then Trance could have been used to, sa uh, could have been used to save mm -hmm. him and continue the mm -hmm. push. Okay, so there's the bomb. Bomb is... Sur they survived bomb. The bomb was... I don't really think this bomb is very good, honestly. Um, yeah. I think... Yeah, I see the F one. Oh, sorry. Yeah, you like you have you have they don't have Ryan anymore, so mm -hmm. I I don't I don't know. Like you're at ninety nine percent. Like from what I'm seeing, they bomb out here, but they're not pushing out there. You know what I'm saying? Like I yeah, it's it's interesting. Can we watch that again? Yeah, oh, like, yeah, yeah. It, it seems like they decided, oh, we're gonna bomb after this, but then they kill the Ryan. Bomb is really no longer necessary anymore. Like why, now you just sit on yeah, point. Yeah, just kept the bomb. Just yeah, just sit point. on point. Yeah, does, because if, any, if, if anything, you lose your matrix, so that may mean that maybe you lose your rhyme on something yeah, crazy. Maybe but not like lost his nerves or something. Yeah. He just wanted to get it. It feels like down. it feels like they called. Oh, we're gonna bomb after their bomb, and then he didn't like reevaluate whether that was needed anymore. So they just stick with the play, and then they did it anyway, even though it didn't wasn't really needed anymore. Um, okay. So it does force trance. Um, fire is close to. Barrier, but Alarm has Trance now, too. Mm -hmm. And Snillo's gonna get Rally first as well. Mm -hmm. Okay, so... There's the B, Trance. Uh-oh. Where was Bernard? Fusion might die, too. Right? Just cause, cause they had no bomb. If they could have bomb, maybe... They might just die to the ground. Yeah. I'm curious why Chengsik is here. Point now. You step up to the Seems uh, he has to he has to back out right. Wait, can we see it again? This is really this is really really like a lot of things are happening in this fight. Okay, so Bernard kills Ryan and Bernard bombs. Bad play. Then Chansik. So they're rushing with Trance, but Chengsik like they're rushing with Trance, but they don't have a Ryan, so they're not gonna be able to kill Chengsik. And like Chengsik right now, we can look at him. He's at full HP. I don't understand. Wait, wait did Chansik back off point? Like, yeah, he he's, did. Like, he's right here. They trance, he backs off, 
right? So he's there. Oh, actually, he's not that bad. I know why he, he backed out. He backed out because he had no show. If he had a show, he, he should have stayed on point. If he had like 2000 HP show, he, he definitely should have stayed like. Oh, sorry. Yeah, yeah. Uh, if he had show, he should have stayed. Oh, fuck. What is this? Yeah, thanks. <laughs> if he had show, he should have stayed like somewhere like. Uh, like here, yeah. and then Hoi show, and then don't move too far back. Like you can move a little bit back, but not too far back. But he showed literally everything broke, broke. So when your all your show broke, uh, he was scared, so he moved out. I think it was fine in okay. this case because he had literally no show. But Ryan with no show is, yeah, he showed literally just not even a five hundred show. It's a zero. <laughs> so that, that was a fine play. That was an okay play. Okay, so Sharp gets grabbed first. Bernard gets shield bashed. Alarm trances, but. Bernard and Bernard gets demacked. They still don't have a so Cheng six shatters. That should win it. Yeah, nice shatter. Okay, there's a grab. Oh, that's, David, David. That, that that should be it. Both teams trying their hardest to troll. <laughs> troll <them. laughs> yeah. Okay. Um. So I guess wrapping this up. A lot, a lot, a lot of sloppy mistakes on both sides. We've seen some, not a lot of like good chaining of ults, some positional concerns. It definitely looked like stand one was out of the loop in a lot. He definitely looked like a stand in. Um, he kind of played at a different tempo than the rest of his team. Anything else that you'd add on top of what we've seen, like, like overall, like looking at the series, what, what, what stood out to you? Uh, but I, I still stand by like the opinion that. Uh, and NA and EU goats improved because you can see like they, they sort of understood they sort of understood like what the ultimates could be used for. Mm -hmm. They're just very inefficient about going. They're just inefficient about going about it. Right. Like they remind me. They remind me of like teams that that sort of pull some knowledge from their contenders mm -hmm. uh, matches. They pull some knowledge from screams. They pull mm -hmm. a lot of uh, knowledge from like Overwatch League, and then they try to find they try to optimize everything at the same time, mm -hmm. which is the correct thing to do, but it'll take a lot of time. Mm -hmm. Like. It took like four months for Overwatch League, and then that's with like all the resources we have. Yep. Like we have stuff that contenders don't have, and that just took us like two stages before we get yep. to a, a good level, a, an objectively good level. Mm -hmm. Contenders is right now working with less resources, but with all the information on the table still. So you can see Fusion making the correct play. You can see Fusion using their trance correctly. You can see Fusion using their bomb correctly. You can see Fusion trying to rush with. Uh, rush with sound barrier, but smaller things are not working out mm -hmm. in terms of positioning, mm -hmm. right? In terms of Brigitte positioning, in terms of Diva positioning, in terms of uh, Chancic not pushing up where he needs to, in terms of maybe com communication, is making sure that even though they have the knowledge, uh, execution still needs to be polished. Yeah, yeah like you said, I think like Fusion, you said the knowledge yeah. is there, they know what to do, they just don't have the experience or the coordination to do it just yeah. yet. I think, I think they're like maybe one, one month, one, one month of scream away from like yeah, from like uh being like stage two standard of Overwatch, like mm -hmm. at least they're in knowledge and execution, even if it's not in mechanics. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Okay. Well, John, I really, really appreciate you coming on, my friend. Um, it was a lot of fun. A lot it took us forever, but you know what? Good analysis takes time. And um, I really, really appreciate you doing Sorry this. Sorry for always interrupting you. No, no, you did a better job reading chat than I did. So again, chat, in case you guys didn't know, John Galt is the assistant coach for the Los Angeles Gladiators. Very busy schedule, still took two hours of his uh, free time to come and join us on the stream. So I, I appreciate it, my friend. Um, if you guys don't know, he has got a YouTube, Twitch. We'll uh, we'll plug that uh, at some point in the future. Um, but there's his Twitter. You can ch you know, shoot him a follow. What is it? You're close to 2,000? 2,000 followers. Oh, we got, we got to get there. You're, you're 1,327. We'll get you to 2,000. So um, anyway, I really appreciate you coming on, my friend. Thank you. All right. Yeah. Hey, you uh, have a good one. Yep. Same okay. to you. See you.